fucking arse. I've got the audio. That's all I need. So maybe when I press the button, I didn't press it with enough gumption. So it's a bit like our attack, really. You always need a bit of gumption like our attack. I know, but there you go. Um, sorry for those of you who have uh, missed the first uh, five minutes of the show because uh, I can't press a fucking button because I'm that stupid. Anyway, whatever. Um, let's get on with the, the the really cheery fan cast that it will be tonight discussing the Chelsea versus Liverpool Caribou Cup final. Um, yeah, I mean, JK, I've got to be honest, mate. I've been feeling miserable all day. Massive frustration. Massive disappointment. How do you feel? Uh, I've calmed down a bit. I, I I was asked to go on the Mark Saggers show, and um, I uh, I ranted. It was slightly <laughs> embarrassing because I just completely lost it. He said, I really uh, wish I'd seen that. Oh uh, yeah, what a surprise! You know what happened just, then? Well, he just said, you know, you've just been at the game, and I actually just cycled up the hill and come in, and then clocked on. I come straight from Wembley. Don't know how I managed it to get on the train and everything. When I got here. And I said, well, I said, where do you want to start with that, you know, complete utter load of... And uh, not that I said... Did not you that swear? I said, did you swear? No, I didn't. No, I just said load of... But I called um, I called um, Mudrick, the the football, the well-known footballer with the name with the uh, with the brain of a whelk. And I said, am I allowed to say that on the, on your show, Mark? And he said, yeah, say what you want. I said, oh, good, I'll carry on. <laughs> and uh, uh, and at the end, I apologised. In the end, I apologised. I'm sorry, all I've done is just... I've hardly given much analysis, have I? I said I actually quoted that lovely thing he said, "Yes, I said when when we all discuss how nice the day was out was was out, and not talk <laughs> about the of the football. You know where we are with this club now." I said, "The very fact that we're just talking about what it's like to see mates and not discuss what's happening on the pitch. You know that we're in a the club's yeah. in a state." I said, that, "I said that I found the whole of the second half completely embarrassing. Not second half, sorry, extra time." Utterly embarrassing. And of course, it gave a wonderful title to the press, you know, go Klopp's kids um, because of our um, completely pusillanimous attempt at seeing out 30 minutes to wait for penalties. If that was the now, I, funny, I made that assessment without then hearing it afterwards. We're going to remind me. That. I know. No, no, yeah. no, no. Well, we will. But I mean, we it will. reminds me that yeah. I forgot to tell you what the title of the show is. I mean, obviously, what a Horlix. Honestly, my performance tonight is even worse than Chelsea's yesterday. Yeah, but you've established at the beginning you were a bit poorly, Chidge, because you've been working actually. very hard. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah. No, no, no. To be fair, so I, I, I had a stomach bug on Friday, as you know, and still did the show because yeah. I am a professional. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was absolutely on it all day in Oxford on Saturday with my oldest schoolmates getting very pissed. Yeah, I got up ridiculously early uh, for a Sunday to go and pick my nephew up from Putney yes. and then go to the football. I didn't get home. I, I mean, I left at half eight and I got home at about half 11 and uh, and I've, my stomach bugs returned today. So there we go. So that's my excuse. Anyway, the title of tonight's show is Playing the Penalty. Chelsea Fancast 1113. Yes. 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 But I, I, in fact, said if this was the case, as I said in my fan bite, then surely that should be that was the mentality of a man who never wins trophies. Well, indeed, we will talk about all of this. You've, we you've, will. you've, we you've will. nailed we will. You, as you always do. You've nailed all the salient points, and even in the right order, which is better than I can manage normally. Yeah. Um, Dean, as uh, I don't, I, th I think we can discern from that that J.K. too is feeling a bit uh, frustrated and disappointed. Uh, what about you? No, as, as I recall, you you were not there, were you? Yesterday, were you there or what? No, you were watching on the TV. Yeah. yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, home, so you have so... a very different perspective than we do, but are you still are you frustrated? Are you disappointed? How do you feel? I'm upset to, to have lost, obviously, losing to Liverpool any game sucks. Um, losing in the last minute of extra time hurts even more. Um, but on the whole, you know, I, I, I do think we played very well for the 90 minutes. Um, I listened to the, the preview show on Friday where we was the underdogs at the end of the show, according to all three of you. Uh, so for, for everyone to be so upset that we haven't won the game, I think it shows how well we did play. Um, more than match Liverpool. Um, I know they say it's their kids, but we had a younger starting eleven and finished with a younger start, finished with a younger eleven than they did. Um, it's just a bit of a lack of experience, I think, on our part and a different mentality in their group compared to ours, which I'm, I'm sure we'll get on to. Um, but I think we, we had our chances to win it in the 90 minutes. And when that didn't happen, uh, the players, they've given up. But 
they reached that peak physically and, and couldn't get over the line, obviously, um, in the 90 minutes. And, you know, obviously it's, it's harder to be there and lose and have to make that journey home from Wembley, which is awful. Um, you know, I've done it before, losing cup finals. Um, but it was it was just as nauseating watching on Sky. Um, oh, the way that God, they, yeah. The yeah. Came out. Um, you know, Neville desperate to try and get his new scouts mates on his side. Um, I mean, the title of their show was Klopp's Farewell Tour Stops at Wembley. Yeah, um, just, and every awful. mention of Chelsea was, was added with how much the players cost. Uh, yeah, no I mention know. Van Dijk cost them £75 million. Uh, I hate Sky cool. almost as much as I hate the Scousers, actually. But there you go. I mean, do you know what really, really, I think this is the... the I, you know, just 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 judging from the feet, you know, with, with all my mates yesterday on on the way back, um, and what a horrible record to lose. I mean, we, no other club now uh, can, uh, is anywhere near us for this, but we've lost six of our last six Wembley finals. Horrible record. I mean, it has to be said that five of those predate Clear Lake, so we can't even stick that one on them, which is rather disappointing. Um, but it is, it is. I, I think that. In a, in a sense, I mean, it's weird, isn't it, JK? You touched on this, and Dean did too. You know, I did not. I I, I went in hope and not expectation on on Sunday. Um, but it's funny, isn't it? Even even with that kind of slightly level headed attitude, it really hurt yesterday. It really hurt losing to them three times in a row, and and the sixth. Wembley final in a row, even though I've missed three of them, ironically. Um, it just really hurt. Uh, and I can't figure out quite why, really. Well, it's all it's tied in with all of this business about them being the media favourites, isn't it? It's tied in with uh Well that uh, being horrible generally. Yeah, yeah. It, it's tied in with um um the fact that they keep that this is the third time they've beaten us at Wembley in the last few years, and uh uh and it's tied in with the fact that they're they're big rivals, they're enormous rivals. So that's why it hurts because we like putting one over them. And so we on, on them, and we haven't for a long time, and we're looking second best as a team uh, in comparison with them. So they have they have crowing rights, don't they? Bragging rights over us. They have us in a in a kind of hold. The very fact they can now say we had children out and we beat you, you you yeah. billion dollar bastards. You know they've got they've already bastards. Got, they've got, yeah, you've already they've got a a strap line. You know they've got they've got it all sorted. So. Um, the fact that they beat us uh, with everybody injured, supposedly, and he then brings on the youth team, and they still beat us, just goes to show what you know. Really, a pile of fucking idiots we are. You know what? A, mm. What a terrible side, and how um, uh, it is indeed the uh, Wembley is indeed the sorry Anfield. It's the Anfield. Wembley is the Anfield of the North, isn't it? For them, that's the. That's what they've been, South. been given. So, so, yes, sorry. <laughs> Anfield's the Anfield of the North. Yeah, yeah Anfield's the Anfield of the North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, minor but, detail. You know, yeah, minor detail. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, you know I what know I know what you meant. I you know, know what, what you I meant. Think, you know, it's no good talking like that. Um, la, la. Yeah, yeah, la, yeah. Come on then. Calm you know, down, yeah, calm down. Like, you know, let's know that. That's a good idea. Uh, calm down. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, it's it's that's why I found it embarrassing I, because mm. I could see all the the lines being written when they won it, you know, and mm. the the stench of the flares as they came across for the second time. Not, after not to mention the all. pyrotechnics. And uh, yeah, hey, 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 woo -hoo. hey, hey, Dino, um, you know, just thinking about the game itself for a minute, um, I thought it was pretty obvious. I thought we were really nervous uh, for the first 20, 20 minutes or so. Which I think was um, crystallised for me very frustratingly. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know about J.K. He'll tell us in a minute about his posh seat, but I was in a really weird part of the ground. There was a there was a whole block. Well, I say block, maybe about twenty seats across about four five rows that were completely empty behind me, which is great because it meant that I stood up for the entire uh, hundred and twenty minutes, um, mainly swearing at basically Moises, Enzo, Dizazi, Gusto, and Sterling making unbelievably basic errors. I mean, even Gusto, who I love, letting the ball go into touch because he can't control it. The five times. Missed... Yeah. Five, five, times. Five, five times. Five times. Five times. Five times. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, so, yeah, exactly. Gusto. I mean, but Moises passing to other people. Enzo passing to other people. 
it was just so frustrating. And I think that, I mean, you know, I can understand Gusto and Dizazi and Moises and Enzo, not, not really Enzo so much being nervous. Sterling has no excuse, a man who's won as much, many trophies as he has. And Enzo, for God's sake, played brilliantly in a World Cup final. So I just can't understand why they were so nervous, mate. Any idea? No, uh, well, well, I think, oh, sorry, Dino, 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 Dino. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. Yeah, perhaps it's just more of a collective thing where you know, the two or three have the nerves and it sort of spreads. And where we do talk about a lack of a leader, there's no one there. Um, sort of G in the squad up. Sterling should be one of those players. I mean, Enzo's played in a World Cup final. I mean, yes, he had Messi uh, on his team. Maybe that calms you down uh, when you're playing in the World Cup final. Um, but yeah, like you said, it was it was a nervy start. But then when you're playing Liverpool, you know, you're playing you know, high-risk, high-reward football where you have to try and break that press, um, which is very difficult. You can't play long because we've got no target man and they've got Van Dijk. Um, so they were under pressure and Liverpool were going to come at them early on and they did. Um, but to be fair, after that, they, they I think we, we settled really well. Yeah. Uh, and Moises particularly had a, had a great game after that. Um, there was, a, lo- there was a lovely bit, Dino, I'm sure you probably saw it on the TV, but he crunched into some tackle. And he went up to the Chelsea sports. He was giving it all of that. And I, I mean, you know, I love to see that. And I, mean, I think you're right. I think they did settle down after about half an hour. And they they, they actually, I think, frankly, for the 90 minutes, they had the better of, of Liverpool. JK, here's the thing. They, they also, uh, we scored a goal. I mean, but what, I mean, I had no idea from where I was, because I was obviously, I was on the other side. But was Sterling's goal offside or was Jackson offside? Because I've seen, I think it might have been Richard, uh, Richard Shallow, who put up a graphic on uh, Twitter saying, no, it was about as offside as Lukaku's was in, in the League Cup final the last time round. Well, what, what do you do? You know, if they draw the lines and they make a decision, we, you have to accept it. And obviously it was up yeah. the other end. I wasn't, I was behind the goal up, up in the, up in the gods, but on a, on a front row. So we were all seated, but um, uh, no, I, you know, obviously would have changed the, 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 uh, the complexion of the game completely. Yeah, um, thirty-three minutes. And it was, was it? a lovely move. It was a lovely move out of nothing because it, yeah. it, it was it was the, the, one of the problems we had was this playing out from the back, which for the first twenty minutes because they pressed so much. What I found really frustrating about that was that it's exactly the way they played against us as Anfield, which is that they just press, they press. The difference being, um, and also they press and they do the long ball. There were two occasions when the goalkeeper uh, Keller booted the ball down the pitch for the for the centre forward, whatever it would be, to run after it, and it was. Um, uh, normally it's it's Salah or Nunes, and they're very quick indeed, and Jota, and they get it. The nine nine, but at least they'll score ten of those in a season, and and they tried it. And it's similarly with Van Dyke, suddenly gets the ball from the goalkeeper. We don't press them at all. Excuse me, why the fuck not? I'm sorry, why the fuck do we not press at all? What the fuck is this? What's going on? Why are Liverpool winning at for the top of the league at the moment because they press? They play very high up. And they deal with it, and we can't play like that. Why not? What, what's why can't we just copy them? I don't get it. I'm sorry. I find this absolutely ridiculous. We, we're pressing completely intermittently, so you get occasionally Connor runs at somebody. He goes, "Come on, Connor!" Jackson hangs back and goes, "Oh, but we've talked about this all the time in the show." I don't get that at all. What the fuck is that? Is that a managerial thing? Because it absolutely pisses me off. Anyway, first twenty minutes, we are struggling completely to deal with this. This press completely. Dazazi reverts to type as he played in all the games when he was completely shit giving the ball away when Sanchez was giving him the ball. Absolutely the same. Cannot deal with being given the ball by the goalkeeper when they're pressing. What the fuck was going on then? All right, they're nervous. We can make excuses. I'm sorry. No. So it's 10 steps forward and and 450,000 backwards for that, for me, with that's happening. Um, Enzo cannot give the ball to anybody except in his instance without giving it away. In his instance, it happens for the whole of the 120 minutes. He was useless all fucking game. I'm sorry, I got I, so pissed me off watching him. He could he's not do right with... back. He's, he's he thinks he's on Saga's show again, Dino. I am suddenly am because I've suddenly <laughs> got completely pissed off. Because but suddenly... he can swear on this one, I'm, yeah. He's I happier. Can. I'm thinking about it, Chid. That's all it is, is I'm thinking about what fucking happened yesterday. Jesus Christ, for the first 20 minutes, we're playing at absolute novices exactly the way we played against them at Anfield. Happily. He's going a bit scale exactly. exactly, exactly, exactly with a special like there. Exactly the same as we played at Anfield, except luckily 
We got through it. 20 minutes. Yeah. I thought, fuck God, yeah. we haven't scored. We've got hard. I mean, JK, but yeah. they hardly, I mean, this is the thing. Even over the certainly 90 minutes, they actually hardly laid a glove on us. And if, in fact, when yes. they did get through, bloody gorgeous uh, Jordi uh, Petrovic saved, you know, a yes. few great saves. Yeah, well, I tell you, the best player was Diaz, who, you know, you think, where the fuck did they pick him up from? Why couldn't we pick somebody like that up? I think it was Fantastic. Portugal. Ran, ran, when he ran it, yeah, he ran it. He ran the, what, what, what the fuck? Why can't we find a player like that? He ran we've it. Got, we've got, we've got elite, elite scouts from Brighton. Got, yeah, right? fucking elite scouts. And, and it's the all new database. one we've got, the new one we've got, Mr. Jewell, and the son of the manager, he's on gardening leave because we picked him up from Brighton. Why? Cool. Why the fuck is Brighton used the talisman? What's this? What is this shit? I don't Sounds get like it. Sounds like that Bayern by, by Munich chant waiting to happen, isn't it? Brighton, Brighton, who the fuck are Brighton? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> anyway, so so with 20 minutes is happening, everybody plays like absolute fuckwits for 20 minutes. I'm just I'm we got away with it though. They in, got away we with did, it. We did, we did. Therefore, we then started putting things together. I actually thought yeah. that's a decent yeah. move. That's a decent move. Have we scored? That was a really decent move. Ball, um, Jackson, fantastic center. And Sterling just has to tap it in. Goal. Uh, no, it's not apparently a goal. It's offside. Okay, well, I can accept that. And then they scored and they threw all their flares. And I thought, well, that's it. That's probably the end of us. But no, they hadn't scored either. But so, what I mean, Dino, I mean, I, I, I've, I've subsequently apparently uh, Endo uh, blocked off Colwell. So therefore, um, yes, you know, yes. Van Dyke's goal didn't count, Dino. But I mean, I had no Scooby as to what was going on. I mean, clearly, I was very delighted that uh, they got their goal cancelled. I mean, Alex was hilarious. I don't know. I, I, I shared yes, it with the WhatsApp yes, group yes. about um, the fact that 12 Scousers had put flares up their ass and then had to let them off when it actually wasn't even a goal, which was the best thing that happened yesterday. But I mean, did you get much of the explanation on telly or were they was, as, as, you know, not having as much of a Scooby as we did in the ground? No, the, the Liverpool goal was, was quite clear. Um, Cole was marking uh, Van Dyke. Uh, Van Dyke had his hand ball on his shirt, was actually pulling his shirt to make sure he stayed in line to get blocked. Uh, when they played the ball in, Endo was quite clearly offside and he stops the run of, of Cole, which allows Van Dyke to score. Uh, of course, the commentators didn't believe it was offside. Um, that Particularly Carragher, I believe. Yeah. Um, Adam Funny that. Have a week. Yeah. Uh, it should have been uh, disallowed, but. It quite clearly, Colwell was marking Van Dyke and he gets blocked and the player's offside. I don't know if it's actually for a free kick rather than offside um, because he blocks him. But either way, he interrupts with the play and stops. Colwell would have headed that ball away, I think, because he was in front of Van Dyke. It That's didn't make any like, sense um, to me that, that they'd gone to look at the monitor if it was offside because they work it out yes, as VAR, so it had it, to be a foul. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, offside, yeah. they just give offside because they draw the lines, but... Yeah, quite clearly, we wouldn't have Chilwell marking Van Dyke. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we'll return to this obviously in in extra time, but uh, you know, I think our set piece defending still leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, bottom line is, J.K. as you were alluding to, um, you know, we had more than enough chances to win it. Um, I, I mean, I was doing my nut. I couldn't believe how we didn't score on about two or three occasions when we were playing. I mean, you know, you could say that Kelleher or Kelleher had a really good game, actually, and, um, you know, made some superb saves. But you could say classic Chelsea poor finishing. I'm not quite sure which side I fall down on because I think he actually did make some good saves, to be fair. Well, they, I think the save from Cole Palmer was excellent when he yeah. got a very firm hand on that volley. But, you know, because it would have once again changed the complexion of the game. But the um, uh, uh, the worst two misses for me were, unfortunately, Connors. Um, should have hit it first. Well, and Sterling, they should have both hit it first time. Yeah, yeah, and Sterling, yeah, both first. Both, absolutely. Which once again, we've gone on and on about that this season. For fuck's sake, when, you know, I, I quoted. I'm quite. I quoted on the Mark Sager show, and I've quoted it on uh, everything that I I was on Radio London earlier as well. And I quoted the fact that you know Hasselbank and Viali. You just think they they really had. They knew what to do. How has this been? This this desire to take a first touch when. We all know that if you hit the ball first time, uh, even if you scuff it, the goalkeeper won't be ready and it'll be, the chances are it will go in the goal, even if you hit it badly, just because you're, you've timed it. It's the speed of everything happening. If you take the touch, the defender comes across, the goalkeeper's in a position to save it from you when you do hit it. 
it's so fucking obvious you know even to part-time sodding sunday league players like myself and even even connor then had this other chance when the ball was given blade into his path when he, when he, he hit the post when he no not not that one that was just in uh, that, that was, was good he was unlucky with that no he was unlucky i don't I don't think he knew anything about it i have to be frank i think he did, did. I think he well did he put his that. he put his leg out that was no the other one when the ball was seconds after the uh, the miss when he was smothered he put it over the bar when he put it over the bar when and he leant back and yeah, you want to go true. connor what the fuck yeah what the i don't you know is it is it that he thought glory was in front of him it was a match winning opportunity there i go up but even surely if that was the case you think i've got this great opportunity head over the ball hit the target drill it the goalkeeper's on the left hand side it's just me and the ape, gaping goal oh dear i've hit it right over the bar i yeah, mean very I disappointing just... Oh, but, but we were we were Dino much better in the second half. I thought uh, we were. I mean, I thought we were absolutely the better side, no doubt about it. Um, and I think you know we were a bit unlucky. Yes, I, I mean we can criticise the finishing. Sure, um, I, I thought Connor was unlucky hitting the post. I was convinced that was going in. I think that wasn't about the getting on for the. I don't know. Maybe I can't remember which way round now. But it, it was late in the game, and it was clear. I mean, this is the other really weird thing, isn't it? You know, we've we've now played the Scousers in three finals. And they've not scored against us uh, for in 90 minutes, well, in 120 minutes for two of those. And I was convinced it was going to go to penalties in extra time. But what the hell happened in extra time? We, we had momentum. We were looking good. You alluded to this earlier on, I think, didn't you? But we were looking good. Um, now, I know people have criticised, um, you know, Poch's subs. But I, I remember, because it was down the end that, that I was in, or well, we were all in, but Connor was out on his feet because he he was uh, stretching his uh, hamstrings and calf muscles against the post for about two minutes. So he was clearly cooked. And uh, I think one of the others, I can't remember who else came off that was pretty cooked. So I can understand why he took Connor off. But, you know, Mudrick and, uh, and Madueki, and I have to say it again, chaps, in particular, Nkunku, what a waste of fucking space, Dino. Oh. Yeah, I mean, all three subs did absolutely nothing when they came on. Um, I, I, Poch has got the blame a lot for, for extra time, but, you know, as you said, the players were, were done physically. And I think that's why the mentality switched. Um, you know, they had their chances to win it, um, as we've just mentioned, and they, they couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Um, and they obviously felt that that was, that was their race done. And when we lost Connor who couldn't run anymore, you just lose that bit of a spark maybe to think that you can get the ball at the other end quickly in extra time. And that's why pilots, they sat off, let Liverpool sort of have the ball and, and try to play to get to penalties. And I know people have criticised Poch's mentality, but he puts on players like Madueki and uh, Mudrick, who are supposed to be able to run at defenders, and they, they absolutely froze. Um, and I wouldn't mind if both of them left in the summer because I don't see how they're going to get to a level where we're winning these finals, not losing them. Um, I agree. You know, I agree. I think as the season goes on, you begin to see what players have got. You know, you, you, it's that thing of giving them, you have hope and you give them great uh, opportunities and possibilities to, to enter your heart. And, uh, and, and when they don't, they don't come up to scratch it. I mean that they, they really let us down those two. In the, in, when they came on, they did a bit, didn't right. they? Well, what about what do you think about Unkunku? Am I being a bit unfair on him? Oh, because I can't no, say no. no. I mean, he doesn't. I mean, I, I just he looks like a fanny, basically. I mean, he, he just doesn't. He, I mean, I know it's a, such a classic old git thing to say. He doesn't really put any effort. He don't put shift in. You know, don't 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 put tackling. But he fucking fannies around. You know, who does he think he is? He, does he think he's fucking Messi or Ronaldo or something? Because he's not. <laughs> he's not the Messiah. He's a naughty, naughty boy. boy. He really pissed me off yesterday, and also I think when he came on against City. Yeah, he did not happy, mate. Not happy no, at all. No, but you're, I, I agree. But unfortunately, the if that's the mentality of the three substitutes compared with the mentality of the three youths, the youths that came on, well, then you know you can understand why Liverpool won it. Um, but um, but hey, having said that, I mean, you know, they they only just, I mean, only just is good enough, but they won it. With another bloody set piece, where I think Mudrick or somebody stupidly small Mudrick, was mobbing, Mudrick. 
Mudrick was yeah. marked. Yeah, but why the fuck was well, Mudrick? He shouldn't have been. He shouldn't have been Dyke. marking Van Dyke, yeah. who had yeah. already scored yeah. a goal in the second half. Mirror, mirror image. Game. Mirror yeah. image. But, but so I mean, therefore, it was... therefore, why? Why did somebody not take over? Why did Colwell not mark Van Dyke? Why did why did Disarzi not mark Van Dyke? Yeah. What what Mudrick the fuck was, was going on at the, the corner? Mudrick was the first man um like Frank Lampard used to be back in the day and didn't jump for the header. No. Just sort yeah. of half ass jumped well, for the header. Even, even, even if he had jumped for the header, I mean we all know there are people yet to be discovered in the Amazon rainforest who know that Van Dyke is critical to Liverpool's set pieces, has scored a lot of headers from corners. You know, so you get your biggest man on him, or you get somebody who is not as big to stop him from moving by any means possible. Well, they're just so standing incredible. in front of him. He makes the run across the, the goal yeah. to get to the ball. That's what yeah. he does. Yeah. The what you stop it, it happened before, so you do it again. What the fuck was going on? I know. Well, that's they bad. just lost they yeah. lost focus completely. But why? Well, I don't why know. Why minutes to go? For God's sake. But no, well, there was my, two, my, my, two minutes talk. to go, JK. We no, all know, we I almost know. got to penalties. That's oh. my point. They wouldn't. We look. Here's the thing. Just just send me out for a second. We did not get battered by Liverpool on Sunday at all. Now, no, at you all. know, a no. few weeks ago we did. We we went with ex, with hope, not expectation. But it's. I think it, that's probably what's really eating away at me is that we should have won that game. We should no, have won was, that game. What I said was, I think it's exactly the answer. Which said after 20 minutes, when it became apparent that they weren't going to beat us for four one, and they weren't all over us, mainly because three of their b- best players weren't playing. So that big long ball we dealt with pretty capably because they kept mm. playing that long ball, yeah, yeah, and the yeah. only player who, who played with any kind of of devilment, the only player who looks as if he's going to score, was Diaz, who's excellent and was everywhere and had lots of shots, but couldn't set whoever it was up because they weren't quite on the same level as him but that was the that that was why the hope came in was because we did play well and we played well for the next um 60 60 60 70 minutes in the game till till uh, the end of the match and then extra time and in extra time we didn't get out of our half in the first 10 minutes of extra time we did not enter the other half so i don't get that why didn't he say to them um uh, you've got the momentum. Keep at it. Or were they all? They all thought, "Oh, we've got to extra time. We're now completely fucked. We're not going to bother now. We're going to sit back and defend." Because that's what it looked like to me. If you do not get out of your own half for ten minutes, suddenly the ball was pumped up the other end. I actually said to Eddie, who I was sitting next to, I said, "That's the first time we've got the ball in the heart in their half for ten minutes." And then from so- then on, it was for me. It was just holding out. I thought, what the fuck are we doing? We were all over them. So in a sense, it didn't surprise me that they scored because yeah. we weren't playing with any of the dynamism or anything. And I wondered if it had come from him. And I made this statement on the um, uh, 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 my fan bite. I made my, without knowing anything, that's absolutely, people were interpreting his post-match um, uh, presser, by the way, which I've taken notes from, if you want me to say anything about it later on. Later. Um, Later, yeah, obviously later. Well, obviously uh, now. So, but yeah, so I actually end thinking, what's this an order from him? You're all knackered, so just defend, because we don't, certainly didn't have any any look. The three subs who came on didn't look as if they were going to get up the other end of the pitch at all. I don't know what yeah. they were doing. Um, here's the thing. What I, uh, where where you were sitting in the posh seat? Um. Uh, it was uh, no, no, no. At the front, it, it's the second. It wasn't a posh seat. It was the. It was. You a in posh Club seat. Wembley? Were you in the Ring of Div- no, Ring no, of Indifference? No. no, 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 not the Ring of. I didn't. No, go, no, no, I, no. I didn't no. go and, and and stay and and eat, eat my 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 grapefruit uh, a la hedgehog at half time. I didn't have any of that. I wasn't there. I was on a. It was the what is it? The something west. Something. What was it called? Something something west. It was the bit next to the. You've got M. You go in and the other one, and it's an extra bit of it. It's higher up. But we were at the front of it, and it goes all the way back to some boxes at the back. We were in the front front row, which was it, it, was, it was the best kind of most um, uninterrupted view I've ever had at Wembley. Wow! By being in the front row, it was just what, lovely. What, what block were you in? I can't remember what it's called. Something West. What was it? it wasn't. How bizarre! I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember. How bizarre! Well, there we go. Uh, J.K. in the posh seats. What? A, who knew? Who knew? That this would happen. Uh, I had some. I had a decent seat. I mean, I think uh, my my nephew, my little nephew, I took a look. He's not so little. Actually, he's bigger than me, of course. But 
uh, you know, took him to his first Wembley final. But I, I got him sitting with Nick and Jason. We were all split up for some reason. We really screwed up on the tickets, but he had my ticket, and uh, I got I got a I got a uh, a ticket from uh, a mate. And uh, but as I said, it's really weird. There were loads of uh, empty seats behind me. No idea why. But there we go. Right, um, we're going to have a break in a sec. But uh, I am delighted uh, to announce, of course, as everybody knows, uh, that CFC. There's another CFC UK on the way. Uh, Dino, you've you've got an article in there, haven't you? Yeah, I've written about Poch and his relationship with the fans and how he needs to start doing a bit more. Yeah. Good shout. I, funnily enough, mine is all about the culture and identity of the club, which seems to be really uh, very on brand, seeing the news I saw today that the club are, apparently hired somebody to investigate what the history and the culture of the club is about. No surprise that my view on this is that it's it's the supporters. It'd be very interesting to see what this highly overpaid consultant makes of it, but I put money on the fact that they won't even mention the supporters. Uh, but anyway, um, I would imagine it'll be available um, at the Brentford game, the first one. Uh, now, if you can't get a fanzine, as you know, on a match day, all you have to do is you have to go to the CFC UK store opposite Fulham Broadway, uh, part with one pound and uh, see Marco and... Uh, and uh, chuckles on uh, on the stall and DJ. Um, if you can't do that, then don't worry. You can subscribe to this wonderful, wonderful publication by emailing fanzine at cfcuk.net. Uh, a year subscription in the UK will cost you 20 quid, uh, 45 quid in, the re- in Europe, 60 quid in the rest of the world. Uh, you can also, if you prefer to have a digital copy rather than a proper copy, why why on earth would you not want a proper copy? But if you do want a digital copy, it'll cost you six quid for a year subscription or a quid each, and it will be emailed to you as a PDF file. And you can do you can pay all this by PayPal. It's all quite simple. But anyway, email fanzine at cfcuk.net and get your subscription going. And uh, while you're at it, because uh, I know you will have money to burn, uh, go and buy a CPO share, which means you will have a share of the freehold of the stadium, uh, and and that will give you a say in its future. So uh, whether we redevelop the stadium or we have to move somewhere, what I, I mean, basically the uh, CPO have the say in that because they own the freehold of the stadium. Now the shares are priced between 110 quid for an electronic share, about 175 quid for a frame share signed by a Chelsea player. Just go to the ChelseaFC.com website and search for Chelsea. Pitch owners. Right. We will be back in a jiffy. Real fans, real opinions. I'm Jason Cundy, and you're listening to Chidge and the Boys on the Chelsea Football Fancast. Total nutters and proper Chelsea. Welcome back. I am Stanford Chidge. This is the Chelsea Chelsea Fancast, if I can actually say it. Uh, I got with me uh, the wonderful Jonathan Kidd. Hello. And uh, the equally lovely Dean Mears. Good evening. There we go. Nice. I'd be be back in a jiffy. I wasn't lying. Uh, right. I kind of get a bit more uh, kind of. Uh, you know, uh, philosophical about what happened on uh, on Sunday. Uh, and uh, I think actually this picks up quite nicely, uh, really, from what we were talking about, about extra time, JK. Um, you know, he, he as he is his want, uh, made a bit of a clangor in the presser by by saying that the, the players felt that, um, you know, that they would be better off waiting for penalties was kind of the gist of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know Matt Law has come out and said that he might have meant something else. But I, I think just generally, as a whole, really, rather than just extra time, I mean, how much of this is on Pochettino? How much of it is on the players, do you think? Well, I, I'm sort of getting fed up with the fact that he, he doesn't seem to change anything. He doesn't seem to do anything that that, that affects the result of the game. I don't, I don't see anything on the pitch that makes me think, oh, he's brought him on and done that, or he's moved them around, or something different is happening. The same pattern appears to to apply. I mean, all right, he brought Chalabar on um, uh, because um, it was it in place of Chilwell. I think Chilwell was um, uh, well, clearly was was at, at the end of his hanging tenor. out of his arse, mate. hanging out of his arse. He started hanging out like, of his arse. like everybody else. Chilwell started dreadfully and looked appalling, but then came into yeah. it much more as the game went on, like all of them did. Um, 
but yeah, so um, you can see where he shores things up. But I, I, I would so like him to do something where you think, well, actually, he's he's that has altered everything. Or it's like Medweke plays actually does something rather than just do nothing. I found the fact that none of the substitutes contributed anything really um, uh, annoyed me. So, and also, as I said before, why didn't he say to the players? Well, you've created the momentum so well in the first half. See if you can get it, keep it, keep at it for five minutes. And if you then get knackered, stop or something. But the fact that we just did nothing, um, surely that's down to Poch. Surely the players wouldn't say, actually, we're not going to pay. We're not going to play properly. We're just going to hang around and do, you know, if you don't get out of your half, was it or could it? I, I looked to try to, to give, give him the benefit of the doubt and them and thought, are these bunch of kids playing very well? But it was the same bunch of kids that come on and, 86 minutes and then had so they had 10 minutes playing in the in the in the 90 and we were all over them so why they suddenly had to to step up was it did Klopp give them some you know magic words in their ears it didn't look like it to me so uh um no I just think I I was more inclined to to think Poch this was the reason why Poch had never won anything which if his attitude was oh well let's hang on for pens um uh, I thought for for a minute when I hadn't looked at what he said in the press conference, which was it wasn't Matt Law says that he meant something else. He just actually said, I think the players may have felt within them that it was better to. So play, more of a subconscious a, thing rather than. A deliberate, yeah, rather. Absolutely. Yeah. Rather than a deliberate. But at the same time, the very fact that he mentioned it must have been that they were aware of that or they watched that. But surely it's his position to say, well, don't play like that then. You know, say to one of them, come on, get pressed further up, do something yeah, that actually, get actually get into them, do something. But Manage also, them. Press, yeah. The, I, I find the whole thing with never doing any pressing, because it, it happened in pre-season, it worked very well. It happened the other day when they played City, they actually pressed. What happens again as he changed his mind? We reverted to tactics from before. So I'm beginning, I, 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 and part of me is, is sympathetic because some of those players... I cannot believe will ever be any good. I know I'd love to, you know, I'm, I'm having a row on another WhatsApp pe page about being, I'm, I should be giving them time. It's like, you having a row, yeah, JK. Okay? Rah, yeah. Me having a, a row. A row. Um, and that I'm, I'm too demanding and I'm too in the past. Expecting, you are, but, but expecting you know, that's why we play. love you. And it, no, we're expecting them to play as well as they played when we were an elite club. We're not an elite club with these players. We're a, a team that sits, Halfway, we're a mid-table club, and we're a mid -table club at the moment. Absolutely, but it doesn't stop me from aspiring to what we were, and I want to see standards improve. And when you see standards improve, and then they knit knit back, you know, um, to what they were at the beginning of the season when we were dreadful, uh, you just despair. But is that down to him? I'm going to answer the same. I'm sending, giving you back the same question. Is it down to the I players? I want it back. I know, I know you don't. I've tried to give you an answer. Give it a dean. I've now decided. Give yeah, it a dean. I'm going to put it out into Mixler. What do you think? No, I'm going to. I, I I wonder whether whether there are some of those players that we give we're giving too many chances to. You know, we're so encouraging. I don't we, think we have much choice. We've got what we've got. No, no, we moment. haven't. We haven't. Consider I know the they, injuries they, we've got. They, as they well. keep letting us down. They keep letting us down. I mean, I, I in, in all the in, in with all the will in the world, I cannot ever think that Jackson will ever be good enough. I'm sorry, I can't. I I just can't. You know, he's enthusiastic. He does the odd, odd good thing occasionally. But, you know, if we're thinking that Kesman is the level, I'm sorry, no, he went in the in the summer. Mourinho couldn't stand it. And in the same way, for me, Jackson won't ever get up to a level that we require. It's no good saying, yes, they'll all improve. And in the same way, I cannot see Mudweke ever becoming a, a top player. I'm sorry. And I, and Mudrik is a disaster. Now, we've give, we've given them all, I think we've given them all enough enough time to to prove what they are and i'm all i'm getting is i'm sorry you cannot play like that every week i'm sorry i can't bear it and then play quite well and then be shit again i can't I, so so to an extent yes and i think potch realizes that as well but at the same time i do wish he was more proactive so i think it's a bit of both chidge both mm. the players and potch well i think maybe so i mean dino you know i i <clears> I, I like I, i'll be i've said it from day one uh well what i said from day one is that um, given where we were, uh, I think that Pochettino was arguably on paper the best manager available in terms of the fact that he'd managed quite successfully per se in the Premier League. 
He had managed a uh, you know a European club uh, with with mega stars, so he was used to managing egos. Uh, he'd actually got Spurs to the Champions League final, which, if you think about it, is unbelievable. So I just and you know he he knew the English game, so I felt it was a no brainer to have him rather than somebody who didn't know uh, the Premier League. And I like him actually; I think he's a likable chap. I've got to be honest. But I, I walked out of there uh, last night. I mean, I know it's miserable. It was pissing down with rain. We just lost to the Scousers. We'll be mugged by them effectively. Uh, Nick and uh, and uh, Pablo and everybody and my nephew had buggered off whilst I waited for 20 minutes for them in the rain, which pissed me off even more. So I was not in a good me- uh, you know, mental place, to be honest. But as I walked away, I, I just thought, I don't think Pochettino is ever going to win Chelsea a trophy. So therefore, what's the point? But is it going to win this Chelsea a trophy, which you just both said are a mid-table team? So, well, not praised uh, for the performance against the number one team in the league in a cup final. We, I think, we think of the Chelsea of old, yeah, you know, with like Mourinho's team, Ancelotti's team, you know, Conte's team. Would he win a trophy with them? Yeah, but he's I not going to get the chance to do that. We're we're in the here and now. He's got the team he's got. I just don't think he's got it in him to win us a trophy. That's how I but felt I on the way out. I don't think anyone would win a trophy with this team. Well, that's a not... very good point. Um, I mean, I, I have said, as you know, because I know you listen to the show, and I've said that if you could put Guardiola in charge at the moment, it wouldn't make a blind bit of difference. But I did feel a bit down on him, to be honest, and I and I and I, you know, and I, I felt bad for that because I like him, but I just don't, I just don't see it happening for him. And okay, yes, I agree with you. Going back to our original question, how much of this is on Poch? How much of this is on the players? I mean, we, one could also say how much of this is on the ownership. And I think you probably come up with, well, it's a bit, you know, there's a bit on all of them, really. But I did feel a bit down on Poch last night. Just wondered what you thought. Yeah, I've, uh, on, his, on his side, to be honest, I think he set the team up. Okay, they were nervous at the start, but they quickly worked out how to, to break the Liverpool press. And probably because it wasn't their strongest team, it was a little bit easier for us. Um, they played really well. They created five big chances in the game to win it. They should have won it. Um, heartbreaking that Van Dijk scores a header in the three minutes to go before the end of extra time. The players are on the, the full quote. I mean, the, the little snippet that they've released of the quote looks like he's asked the players not to play in the, in the extra time. He says Gallagher had to come off. Chill had to come off. Their two captains of the team both have to come off because they, they can't run no more. It's a younger team than Liverpool had on the pitch in terms of average age. Um, so when he says they the players felt like playing the penalties was their best choice, what I think what he's saying is that's how they felt they could get through this game. And unfortunately, they switch off at the corner at the end and, and Liverpool score. Um, you know, we're miles away from Liverpool. And the fact that Klopp can bring on these academy players, all of them play with confidence because they're playing in a confident team. Poch couldn't do that. You couldn't bring on you know academy players in this final and ask them to play to a high level, um, and their young players ha- helped Liverpool continue their press in extra time. They had the energy up, they gave them that enthusiasm. The crowd got behind them uh, over the, the broadcast, um, which is always hard to tell what they do with the mics. But the crowd got behind Liverpool, um, and they lifted themselves in extra time because they had that experience and that quality and. and to be fair to Poch, I think he brought on players like Madueke and Mudric to try and get Chelsea up the pitch and get runners and get people that get behind them and try and stretch them and Nkungu. And they didn't show up. And this is the squad he's been left to, to deal with. They're not, in my opinion, capable of challenging for trophies against the qualities that are teams that we've got in this country. Man City, Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal um, are all miles ahead of us. And if it's a project... Poch's task isn't to win us the, the Premier League, it's to get us to so, a point where someone else can come in and, and take this group to the next level. So, yeah, that's really... that's a, you make a really good point there. Somebody, may, I can't, we get so many messages on, 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 on YouTube and stuff that it's hard to keep up, but you, you make uh, the same point as somebody on here. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't find your message, but basically what that's what they were saying. They were saying that he's, he's a transition manager. So he's there to transition this team whilst they're rebuilding it, buying all these young players, and then they'll get rid of him and they'll bring somebody in who will then hopefully win us trophies, which I can I can understand that. I mean, that in itself is also a good point, Dean. You know, I, 
I mean, it doesn't really it doesn't matter what we think. Although uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of us will say we've been responsible for the demise of a few managers, uh, <laughs> Chelsea, over the last years. But uh, uh, mentioning no main name, Sarri, Rafa, but uh, maybe even AVB actually. But um, I can't see this lot. I mean, you know, the the current ownership who have invested a lot of money in 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 these players and in the project, and will have a serious sense of humour failure if this uh you know these poor uh, you know the lack of uh, results the lack of trophies lack of any excess they they will want to push the blame onto somebody else because they will not want the finger being pointed at them um and i wonder therefore you know results like this are not going to do poch any favors does he really have a future at chelsea do you think i mean do you think he might have to go at this in this i mean i i would stick with him because i just think you know bringing somebody else in now he's just back to bloody square one again but do you think the ownership might might get an itchy trigger finger possibly it depends what the what happens with the crowd because that's why they got rid of potter because it was the crowd was too toxic against him i think potch has got a bit more support than than potter ever did I think they're creating that that buffer zone between them and what happens on the pitch by all these appointments, uh, like when Stanley and Stewart and whoever else is now involved, uh, all these sort of cooks they've got building this team up, this squad up. We are still paying the penalty for what Todd Bowley did when he first took over the club. When he fired everyone, when he signed all these players, he had no idea what he was doing. He signed a Bamiyang and then sacked Tuchel the next day. All this money wasted is on still on Todd Bowley and... It's, unfortunately, it's easier to sack a manager than it is to change a whole squad. And mm-hmm. there's probably eight or nine, maybe ten players in that squad that you would keep to create a, to create a winning side. I mean, in when Guardiola was on Abramovich's yacht, he told Abramovich, "We need eleven players." If yeah. you ask him over Chelsea today, how many players is he going to ask for? Yeah, no, that's probably a really good point, Dino. You know. How many players so of this lot would? How many players are we satisfied in this season so far? Well, should we go through them? Petrovic, uh, Petrovic yes. Yeah. So Petrovic, yeah. Oh, left hand, good. Right hand, bad. Petrovic. Pardon, one, one second. What, left hand, good. Right Left hand, hand good. Right left, hand, bad. Left hand, right. Which is left, left or right? Left, good. This is, is my left. Is this my left? And all this, right. Okay. This is my... Oh, it's disappeared. How bizarre. Le- this is my oh. left. This is my right. Okay. Left. Right, left, okay, left, right. left, right, right. That so, is my right and your left. I know. Good. But we're going by me because I said it. So yeah, Petrovic. You said it first, all right. Yeah, Petrovic. Yeah. Palmer. Palmer. Gusto. Gusto. Gallagher. Come on, for fuck's sake. Not not unless he shoots properly. Come on. He's more, is, there's more to his game than, than missing sitters. I mean, he does contribute a hell of a lot. Yes, all Gallagher. right. Gallagher's yeah, yeah, yeah. going in. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, Gallagher's okay. going in. Okay. Ch- uh, Chilwell, are we happy with Chilwell? Not yeah. at the moment, but yes, because he's, I mean, I oh, think... so it's a, you're allowed not to be happy with Chilwell, <laughs> but I have to have Gallagher. We have to have Gallagher, do we? Up. Let, me quali- let me qualify this. I think, you know, Chile's earned the right because he's been there and done it and proved what a good player he he's is. He's won the him. European Cup, you know. Ben Chilwell's won the European Cup. Exactly. So Chile gets in. Five. Any more for any more? <laughs> I think that's it. That, okay, Dino, any more? I'll keep Classido. Yeah, yeah. I agree. He's, I think there's potential. Yeah, not yeah, me. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. go on. Yeah. Potential for what? I've got fucking potential, mate, and I'm 58. Well, I think if you're talking about a squad, it'd be in, uh, right. it'd be in a winning squad. Uh, well, I, 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 will gi- I will give you po- uh, give you Caicedo, but I'm not convinced. And I would keep Colwell in the squad. Colwell. And keep, and keep Fernandez in the squad too. I, I no. I'll, right, I'll have it I'll have it out with you now. I, I I'm sorry. I don't think I don't think Moises and Enzo are are good enough. I mean, mate, we, we are a club that had Makaleli in that role, that had Mikel yeah. in that yeah. role, that yeah. had fucking Kante in that role. Ballot, the, ballot these two, the, these yeah. two are not fit to lick the piss. Of N'Golo Kante's football boots. I'd go further than the piss, the poo. I'd go for oh, anything. Even. Yeah, even Indeed. anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah so the, I'm sorry, uh, I, I'm, I'm not. Birds and way off them. No, I'm not having have any of that. I mean, no. Billy Gilmore was better than those two for fuck's yes, sake. Yes, yes. I mean, perhaps, Jesus. They should, perhaps they should buy him from Brighton. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
So I, I say no to uh, Kaiseido and Enzo, but they ain't going to go anywhere. Uh, who else is flattered to deceive? I mean, I like Dezazi. I know that that's controversial, but I actually, I think there is a player in there. I do. He's got attitude and I like that. You know, he's he's he's, he's a bit of a beast. I like that. Um, and I think he might improve. Badia Shield, uh-uh. Fafana, uh-uh. Uh, who else? Madueki, uh-uh. Mudric, uh-uh. Cook- Jackson, Cookerella. uh-uh. Cucurella. Um I don't I don't I don't I mean I know it's early days and one should be more reasonable, but I'm I'm not I'm not enamored of Nkunku at all. You know, I just don't see how he fits into an English Premier League side. You know, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> he gets knocked over, not physical enough, thinks he's better than he is, blah blah blah. So basically, it's 50 50, isn't it? About half of them, he, really. He glides well, doesn't he? Oh, how wonderful. Well, uh, Marina Granov Sky is the best glider I've ever seen, but she wasn't playing at number nine for Chelsea. Okay. Maybe she should have been. Do you like my impression then? I did. It's smooth, very smooth. So uh, it's about half and half, Dino, really, isn't it? To be honest. Yeah, so should we be too pissed off that we've lost the cup final to the number one team in the country right now? No, and I mean, it's a point you made on WhatsApp yesterday. And by the way, I have to say, I was with my nephew uh, all the way. I mean, honestly, it took forever to get back to Putney. Um, and he was very amused, as was I, by, uh, I said, by God, I said, they're still moaning on the, on the WhatsApp group. <laughs> you lot went on the most in, enormous, uh, uh, I mean, you weren't ranting, actually, but I mean, you were making some excellent comments. I was highly entertained and amused by it all as I was traveling back on the tube. Um, but you made that point yesterday, and you're right. I mean, you know, we lost to the team that are number one. Uh, they're sitting on top of the Premier League. But remember, Dino, uh, and this is actually a very good uh, place to bring this in, that was not their best team. I mean, they had Salah out. They had uh, Nunes out. Nunes. They had their Jota. Jota out. They had Terence Trent Derby out. You know, they... Uh, Why you don't know, you they... Stay? Exactly. Um, they had a lot of their first team players out. Um, we had a good opportunity, therefore, I think, to beat them. We'd just come off the back of an excellent display against Man City. We beat a very good Villa side away a couple of weeks before that. You know, we had an opportunity here and we blew it. Now, the truth is therefore somewhere in between because I don't agree and I'd love to hear what you think of Gary Neville's blue bottle jobs wankery, um, but also this fallacious Scouse youth clops kids argument. Um, I mean, I know he brought quite a lot of them in, in extra time. But, you know, trying to make out that they were playing some kind of like hardened, wizened Premier League team in Chelsea is an absolute load of bollocks. And in fact, the stats say that our team was still younger than theirs on average, even when they did bring all of his kids on. So let's let, let's let's blow up the fallacious Scouse youth argument and the uh, the Gary Neville blue bottle jobs uh, Liverpool love in argument, shall we? Fallacious, F E W L A C I O I O U I O U S. Fallacious. I believe so. Yes. Rather than F E W L A T I O U S. Well, we could say that. well, that's what the uh, the media have been fellating Liverpool for as oh, long as I can Chich, remember. I knew, I knew you would come up with something using that verb. I knew you it. tee them up. I'll hit hey. them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But I mean, it is a load of bollocks, isn't it? This Scouse youth argument, and uh, and all. I mean, what the yeah, hell is it, Gary? It fitted the headlines, though, didn't it? It was a perfect well, opportunity. A bit of we alliteration. In, we've Clops indeed, we absolutely, we yeah. we fell into the trap. It was it was absolutely what you'd expect in that moment when that happened. And I, when they came on, I thought, oh god, he's either doing this as a kind of you know last ditch thing, or he wants to humiliate us. And I felt it humiliated us. I really? don't think it. I really did. And from my that from, that's what I thought at the time. I either thought we're either going to take them to the cleaners in the last few minutes, or if they do win it and they play well, this will be the headline. And it completely was. Mm. And I thought it was actually he was just sticking two fingers up at us, saying, "Look, mm. I can beat you with this lot. I don't need, you know." And and I've got a Liverpool mate, and he said he they he felt that we were outthought by Klopp. It was like a a, a ploy. That he he knew that their, their standard was pretty high, but he knew that their their energy was such it would keep them going during the thirty minutes. But he thought that he said it was the greatest humiliation that he could put put upon you as a side by bringing in the uh, uh, the youth the youth team. He said well, the difference being is that at least all our players, although youngsters, um, 
uh, of pl playing Premier League. None of these, very few of these boys have been playing Premier League. So that's that's how he could gain the upper ground with it. So we played exactly into their hands. And I, I just sat there for the whole of the half hour as it went on, just thinking, Jesus, we better not concede here because otherwise they're going to run, the media are going to run away with this. It's exactly what happened. Yeah, indeed. Um, now, I've got a question for you both. Uh because you're both going to have different perspectives on it, which is why it's so beautiful in a way that uh, even though very sad for Dean that he wasn't actually in the stadium, uh, it's, it's useful in this moment. Now, my own personal view was that not for the first time, the atmosphere at Wembley was absolutely cods. Uh, we all know that it's really not helped because the top tier is very high. So the top tier can never hear what the bottom tier are saying. And then there's that awful break because of the ring of indifference, which kills the atmosphere. We've also got this awful issue that the uh, where you would expect the most rowdy Chelsea supporters be, to be, which is behind the goal in the safe standing area. And I know this for a fact because I've talked to Graham Smith, who's the head of ticketing at Chelsea, for years and years and years about it. He said, the trouble is, Chidge, that people go and sit there because they want to be near the atmosphere, but they don't contribute to it. And I've heard loads of people moaning about, you know, a lot of people, you know, tourists sit down and, you know, all of this kind of stuff. Where I was, which was to the... Uh, I was kind of by the corner flag, left-hand side. Um, pretty quiet, really, you know, we're, we're all before me. And, you know, I was doing my best because, you know me, I like a bit of a sing-song and a swear. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I just thought it was really poor. And, of course, it was put into focus. I mean, I don't think the Scousers were much better, actually, to be honest. They were pretty loud at the beginning of the match. And then they had that moment, an extra time, where they did the LA, LA, LA song. Which was when they, waggled their, when they waggled their scarves. Yeah, that was loud. I have to say. Uh, is that what are they was... singing? What are they singing? It's, it's very impressive. LA, LA, LA. LA. I've written some new lyrics to it, which ends up we'll kill the fucking lot. But uh, I'll I'll let you know that. I'd like lot. to hear that, Chidge, Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got. I it's can just... twirl my. I've got my Chelsea blanket. I can twirl. Yeah. Anyway, they were loud, but you know, at that moment, to be fair, but um, but I thought it was it was piss poor. It was uh, disappointing. But it was a sign of the times, Dino, is kind of what I would say. And there's also the historical aspect of of, of Wembley, which doesn't help. But then again, you see what the Liverpool did, lot, did the 33,000, them all singing at the same time, and it can be very different. So I don't know. I just thought it was poor and very disappointing, horrible atmosphere, made worse by the fact that we had Scousers up the other end, really. Dino? Yeah, Chelsea didn't come through at all on, on the broadcast. Um, everyone was on top. You know, it was, the noise was from Liverpool's end and... I'm never sure when you're watching on TV what because they can position the mics where they want to and turn mics down when they want to and turn mics up when they want to. Um, but yeah, it seemed like they had choreographed their their chance uh, to get the full sort of section of them singing the same song at the same time. Um, and I, when I've been at Wembley, you know, one side of the ground singing Carefree, the other side singing a completely different song when they seem to merge together. It has been a, an issue at Wembley for Chelsea for some time. Um, but as you say, in extra time, I think you sort of match what you're seeing and Chelsea sat back and it brings you on nerves and you, you lose that atmosphere and Liverpool got their towels up and the fans, it's a cliche to say it, but helped get them and their youngsters sort of over the line, I think. It's so frustrating, Dino. I mean, you know, I don't know what the answer is, if there is one at all, but I think one of the answers for me would be, you know, you put, if you put, you know, for example, I was at the, the Palace game the other week where the whole, you know, three little birds, I think really did help the team in the second half. But that end, that away end was fantastic and loud and brilliant all the time. Put the 3,000, you know, people that, we're going there or as many as you can of them. So that's all the away season ticket holders, of course. Stick them all together in that bloody place behind the goal. Surely that would make some sort of a difference. I don't know. I don't know the answer. JK, you you um, you were sitting in the posh seats. What was the atmosphere like? Well, I think I was in the, you mentioned from, it. the from ring your of indifference. From your I was in the you? ring of indifference, but at the were front you? of the ring indifference. I don't know. I'm trying to think in terms of where were you that in the would middle be. tier. Yes. You were in the ring of indifference. Yes, but and for me, looking down below, we had all the flags being waved, which we had the flags, which some Not the plazzy uh, flags. Yeah, the guy, some guy behind me um, revealed his. Uh, how can I put it? His um, uh, Todger. It's possibly he got his cock out. Unbelievable. 
<laughs> yeah. You never Rock thought out with his dog out. Well, nobody knew because they couldn't because it was too little. Nobody knew, but cold, I don't mate. Yeah, it was too cold. You were it shriveled, obviously. It was fucking freezing, wasn't it? Was it? Freezing, wasn't right. it? I know. Oh, God. That added to my bad mood. God, yeah, I was with my fifth year and she kept saying, Why is it so fucking cold? I kept said, Well, don't swear at me, but at the same time, I said it is very cold because because uh, it's the time of year, sweetheart. It's February, dear. So to have worn your worn your uh, your North Face jacket with a t shirt was probably not the best way of being your, your joggers. Stomach- my 17 year old nep- nephew did exactly so. I said, Mate, you, you're gonna, and he was freezing outside it's the freezing. pub. Yeah, yeah. She kept saying, I've got to go in, it's warmer inside. Isn't it fantastic how Wembley, um, whenever there's extra time, all the all the uh, the drink places and all the shops have closed because they don't yeah. have licenses to go. It is pathetic, it is. absolutely pathetic. I mean, uh, uh, particularly with the pattern of Chelsea playing Liverpool, it's, it always goes to extra time. You think they'd have put them into their contract? Perhaps it costs them too much to have them hanging on, uh, or the or the employees. But oh, for God's sake! Um, uh, no, from where I was, oh uh, yeah, the bloke behind me, yeah, the bloke who got his willy out. He didn't actually get his willy out. He he just lowered his trousers. No, he didn't. He just said, um, uh, he said, uh, oh no, he said they've got flags. Wow, he said that must be the Americans. Yeah, it's good call. Very good. Never seen a flag before at Chelsea. We do it every time. I know, but uh, luckily the bloke, the, the, no, the bloke next to him put him right. I was about to turn round and say, uh, "Excuse me, mate. Uh, no, they're, they're, we're bad having flags for the last twenty years." Um, uh, he said, "No, that's quite a regular thing." And the bloke went, "Oh, and that was the end of that conversation." Anyway, um, from where I was, um, it was very loud. I think they must have uh, preferably. Um, uh, put the microphones well, we up on the we telly. Were. We were very loud. Really? Very loud. Carefree, I mean, th- masses of carefrees coming up. This, this is why I asked. This is why yeah. I asked. Because, I thought we were really good. I really you liked, know, I liked the singing. I thought it was I, great. I know, I, you know, all the times I've been to me, I've realised this. You can sit in one place and think everybody's quiet and nobody's singing no, anything because you no, cannot no. hear it all as one big noise. Yeah. So no, I, 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 the choice of songs annoyed me. I kept hearing "Carefree" all the time, which you think. God did you hear us singing? Do 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 do. Fuck the Scousers. Do 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 do. Do you hear that? Yes, we did. We did. But and nobody said "fuck the Tories," which is what somebody. No, that's absolute that rubbish. Absolutely made up. Absolute absolutely bollocks. rubbish. Made up. Yeah. Um. Uh. But no, I, I was impressed. Actually, I thought okay. that once once again it was down to, um, what was happening on the pitch. I thought when yeah. we when we scored when we almost scored. And when we're at the other end, you know, and Palmer had his shots, and we had those three shots in the end of end of uh, uh, ninety minutes that were almost went in that bounced off the goalkeeper, and and Kunku had the final shot that um, that he didn't hit properly, and it s- stabbed, and the goalkeeper saved again. We were, I could hear everybody going, oh, 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 and all of that, yeah, come on, masses, masses of everybody was behind it, behind the team. I I wasn't getting that at all. I thought we were very loud. Oh, I just great. thought it was, you know. So I don't, I didn't have a. I didn't have complaints. I think there were some people who got very carried away about um, singing. Uh, um, oh, yeah. The other one was you you, you um, sign on, sign on, which was just oversung. Just ridiculous. It gets rid- and, and all, never the victim, you know, all of that. Come on, guys, stop singing that. Just give up with it. You know, and of course, they sang consistently. Um, uh, um, you ain't got no history, which is just, you know, obviously it's, it's like the Denver Bar song. It's just sort of, you know, song from the past. That they just feel like singing, but um, uh, but no, I I I didn't have a. I, I thought we were really behind the team, other oh, in well, those really other than those low moments. I thought we got very quiet in extra time, rightly so, you know, because fuck all was happening, you know. Well, there you go. There is it, that's Wembley for you. This is what it does, right? I've got a couple more questions. Excuse me, I am rather tired today. Um, I mean, it's bizarre, isn't it? Because I mean, we've sat here and moaned for about an hour. Sorry, people, but you know this is how it is. We we don't lie. We just tell you how we feel. But it's interesting. Some people on on um, social media say, "Why aren't you happier?" They say to us, "Don't they?" Why? What the fuck should we be happy? Why should we be fucking happy? And be happy? happy, happy, happy. Well, no, but actually, having, having said that, JK, having yeah. said that, I mean, this yeah. is the bizarre thing. I mean, I know we've moaned for an hour and we are pissed off, and I did feel really miserable. Uh, actually, I felt I felt more miserable today than I did leaving, and and this is the thing. Um, because I've obviously had time to reflect on it now, but actually, you know, I had a really good day out yesterday. Don't you say know. that. No, I'm going to say it. I'm going to be uh... honest. That's, that is that is how I am. 
I I got to take my nephew to his first uh, Wembley final, which I know is really special. Um, and I was determined to get him a ticket because I am conscious of the fact it might be a long time before we go there again. So I wanted him to have a chance to go with his old uncle Chidge and uh, actually go to a final. And I and I love being with him. He's he's great company. So, you know, I took him, I, I got to take him to a Wembley final. He came to the Victoria pub and we met, I met all the usual and unusual suspects there. So, you know, not only Pablo, Sam, the Mantles were there, Graham, Gary and, and Darren and uh, Andy Ray from LA was there, you know, and his mate, Mike. Um, Stu Norman was there, obviously Nick and Jason, but also Smithy and people like that. And Jerry, who I haven't seen probably since the last time I was in the Victoria. So, all the usual people that I've met at every uh, Wembley final since we've been going to the Victoria. So it was a great start to the day. And I just bumped into so many people in and around Wembley. I mean, we walked past one of the pubs on the way from Wembley Central. Who should walk out? But um, but Dom and Benny from the, uh, the Supporters Trust and Tracy and all of that lot from the cock. Andy was there, Andy Silverman. Uh, it's just, I mean, so I've just basically spent the whole, you know, getting into Wembley, bumping into... People I know and love. I I, I saw uh, Andy Cairns with with Beardy as I went in, I, and it was a great day. And I love all that bit of it. But and I had no expectations of us winning, as I as you know. Although I told everybody on Friday that we would win. Um. So you know, it was kind of a classic great day. I mean, actually, I don't think we actually played that badly, really. I mean, I I, I you know we we didn't disgrace ourselves, even though we moaned about it for an hour. Um. But my the reason I'm miserable today is that that's not enough, is it? You know, it's not enough to just say, ah, oh, it's a great day out, lovely, lovely to see all my mates and all the rest of it. I, you know, I've realised that, you know, I I mean, actually, do you know what? I, I didn't, I don't think I did this on Friday, but I was telling everybody, uh, anybody who would be stupid enough to listen, a bit like doing this show, really. But I kind of totted up all of the finals that I've been to, because I, I missed, couldn't get a ticket for 94, was in the Caribbean in 97, schoolboy era, couldn't get a ticket for 98, couldn't get a ticket for 2000. So my first final was 2002. So we lost that one. Uh, then I was at Cardiff for 2005, we won that one. I was at Wembley in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2012, 2015, 2017, 2018, 2019. And then I missed the COVID ones. So Leicester, Arsenal, and kind of Liverpool in the League Cup, and I was at Wembley for 2022. And out of that, I've seen us win one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and seen us lose one, two, three, four, five. So now I've seen us lose six. So I'm still ahead, but it's much better winning. That's the bottom line. And I think I got rather used to that over the last 20 odd years. And I've got a horrible feeling it's not going to happen for a long time. And I'm a bit miserable about it, JK. Would that be fair enough and reasonable? I think we're going to get to the uh, FA Cup final. Well, do you know what? Uh, do you know what? Put money on it. Shall yeah. I tell you for why? Because, you know, why? I was out with my, my, my bezzy mates on uh, Saturday. Uh, and uh, they're the ones I go to the cricket with in the summer. Guess what? Uh, I, guess what day? Well, put it this way. If we get to the FA Cup final on the 25th of May... I shall be at Edgebaston. Which, of course, it normally happens, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah. I can guarantee you that we will be in the FA Cup final come May the 25th because I will not be able to go. And I've already said to Sasha, I've said, mate, I'll get a ticket, no problem. You can have my ticket and go with the boys because they'll look after you. But I shall be at the cricket. So I can guarantee you we'll get to the FA Cup final in May. What do you think, Dino? Yeah, it's such Wembley's such a strange place that when you come out of the ground and you've just won an FA Cup or a League Cup, it's wonderful. Uh, and I've come out, it's been raining and we've won. You come out there and you lose, you'd rather be in the Afghan desert than Wembley Way. <laughs> yes. Mate, it would have it's been a dance like bloody warmer than walking back last night. Yeah, especially, obviously, the League Cup's obviously a bit colder than the FA Cup. There's just nothing worse than walking out having lost, and you still end up joining the opposition fans, the, the ones that leave obviously straight after as well. You just you can't escape them, and 
But Dino, weirdly, long, long, long. I was I was all right yesterday. It's only today that I've started to get really down about it, which is a bit odd. Yeah, for me, obviously, I was watching the TV. So as soon as the full time whistle blew, I turned the TV off. And <laughs> you had that option, was, which is lucky. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't have to with nothing else. What worries so, me is the is the the scars that you've got from it because I was tense and so willing us to win and uh, thought we might get over the line and then girding my loins for penalties and then they score and somehow everything just gets all of that adrenaline and energy and hopes just disappear and you just think okay we've lost uh yeah what do we do how do we get home what am i doing getting home and i just think you just wonder how many times that you're going to experience that before you burst you know because mm -hmm. it's just it's unbelievably painful and yet you just well, well, you just you dismiss it you dismiss it i find it so weird that you just go, oh dear, we've lost, and yet you've been going. Come on, geez, we're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and I get angry. My, my daughter said to me, "You get, you've got so angry." I said, "I'm angry because they keep giving the ball away, and they, and they keep and they're not playing properly, and he's not good enough, and I want him to play better, and he's great, but he's in the wrong position." And I'm analysing it all, and I said, "All Liverpool do is just fucking boot the ball up the fucking pitch and just press." I said, "That's all they do. I can't bear it." And then they're, they're, they're top of the league. Ah! And she says, "You're so angry all the time." I said, "Yes." I think I think I might burst a blood vessel, but at the same time, it'll the second that they the second that they they, they score a goal, I go, oh, that's it, we've lost. Come on then, what should we do? Should we go? And yeah. I'm the, so it's a kind of sort of weird, a weird, um, a, a weird experience going to football matches it is now, I, now nowadays. <clears throat> I find so, yeah. So, but yeah. And actually, this the is a, a about, good. Sorry, the thing about finals, though, isn't it? It takes you back to. What football fundamentally is about, you know, your eleven beating another eleven. There's a winner and a loser. It's not no spreadsheets, no financial implications, no data. You know, at the end, it's a winner and a loser, and you don't get that every week anymore. You know, because you lose a game, but you say, okay, I'm still in the top four, I'm still in Europe, stuff like that. You know, finals are that. You know, early way are, falling off. They are football. final. Yeah, that's and the then, point, isn't you it? Know, you never want to give those up, and we've been very lucky to be. I mean, the list that Chids read out um, was too young for the 90s, but from the 2000 onwards, sort of similar to, to Chidge's finals. And some clubs have just been to one in that time. Uh, yeah. We've been very blessed. And you're like, JK, I think we'll be there in May again. Well, I was trying to explain to, to my nephew that, you know, I've got mates who were at, at the finals in 1970, 71 and 72. And then had to wait until, well, I mean, okay, if you discount the full Members' Cup, which many of us won't, but e even with that, it was 14 years. Uh, but if you wait to, tw to 94, it's 22 years they had to wait. I said, you can't guarantee. I mean, we've been really lucky for these 20 odd, 25 years, a bit more, really, 30 years to be, I mean, the last 20 odd years, it's been every year we've been at Wembley. So uh, you can't count on it. Um, but anyway, um, Lovely little bit of a segue here, because uh, as I said to, to my nephew on the way out, I said, well, there you go. We're doing it all again on Wednesday because we'll have Leeds in the FA Cup. So you, on to the next one, which kind of debunks what you were saying in a weird old way, uh, Dino. But uh, I get your point. Losing a final, it's horrible. Um, and on that very point, we will have a break in a minute. But before we do, just a quick reminder that there are still places available on the Chelsea Fancast World War I Battlefield Tour, hosted by the absolute legend that is Alex Churchill, who you heard from last Friday, and uh, Holmes and uh, Johnny Dyer, of course, uh, who uh, you will know from this parish as well. Um, I mean, I won't bore you with the details again, because you heard it all on Friday and the week before that, but this is brilliant. If, if, you've, if you've had family who fought in the First World War or died in the First World War, and it was the Somme and the Ypres area, these guys will do some research and find out what happened uh, and take you to where it all happened. But above all that, you'll get to see all the big ticket items like Menning Gate, Teepval, Vimy Ridge, uh, loads and loads and loads of places that are very famous and associated with this uh, very tragic uh, world war. Uh, there's a football uh, uh, kind of tint to this as well, because uh, they all wrote a book about uh, footballers who fought and died in the First World War, and, and particularly on, uh, focusing on Chelsea. So it's wonderfully educational, very informative, incredibly emotional, and great fun as well, because there's good people that go on the tour. Me and Tony are going to be there uh, as well. A few other people you may know and love. 
Uh, and there's great, great fun to be had in the evening, drinking lots of Belgian beer, eating lovely food in nice restaurants, staying in lovely hotels. And it's a, a lovely long weekend in the summer, midsummer, in fact, because it's the 21st to the 24th of June. Uh, and that will cover everything apart from your food and your drink. So uh, that's 650 quid, I think, around that mark. Uh, so get in touch. Uh, either just email us at chelseafancast at gmail if you want me to put it forward. But uh, uh, check it all out on uh, www.historiatravel.org, which is I-S-T-O-R-I-A travel.org. Uh, right, we will be back after this very short break, if I can find the sting, which I can. Fans, real opinions. I'm Jason Cundy, and you're listening to the Chelsea Football Fancast. Up the Chelsea Football Fancast. Welcome back. It's Stanford Chidge here. This is the Chelsea Fancast with me, Mr. Jonathan Kidd. Hello, mate. And the lovely Dean Mears, who, of course, is the doyen of the Went to Mo Kings Meadow podcast. How's the old podcast and the fanzine going, Dino? Yeah, going well. Back in the routine of, of the podcast now. Um, so getting the content out there. Uh, and the fanzine, we're on to issue 10, which is going to come out at uh, the start of next month for our March fixtures. Marvellous. Um, the links to those uh, on my page should go there and uh, you'll find them all. Good. And what I was going to say, where do we where do we find find? I mean, obviously, you know, you you where, where can we find the podcast and the fanzine? Uh, the podcast is uh, at Mo Kings Meadow on Twitter. Obviously, we still publish on the fancast platform, but we've also got our own one as well. Um, and then the fanzine is uh, at CFCW Fanzine on Twitter uh, and Kings Meadow Chronicle dot dot com uh, to buy one. Lovely, good work, Dino. Uh, proud of you, son. Uh, right. Uh, it is now time for us to preview the Chelsea versus Leeds FA Cup Round 5 match, which uh, kicks off on Wednesday evening. Now, I'm not too sure because uh, I, I'm not sure if he had a presser or not today because I've been rather busy, JK. Did he uh, or he, did he not have a presser today? He didn't have a presser today. It'll so you're just going to make it up? It'll be tomorrow. No, I, I'm not going to make it up. I'm going to talk about what he said yesterday. All right. If that's okay. Yeah. Because he's he said... Um, Remember, He's, you watch them so we don't have to. So let's apparently, that's the case. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Um, uh, what the reporter said: you had six big chances. Who scores first wins? Which was very clever. Well said. Yeah. Um, um, and and he said his response was: final is about to win, which didn't make any sense at all. I think he meant final is about winning. Um, and he was asked whether he said anything to the players. He said, "I've said nothing to players." They need to feel the pain, which I thought was a bit, um, a bit desperate. I, know, of him, I, but, I agree. Uh, they definitely need to feel the pain. He said nothing would make them feel better. They need to improve. They need to know what it feels to be in a big trophy, which clearly they did. Part of the challenging process. So uh, he wants them to be wounded, which was interesting, actually. It was quite an interesting um, philosophy to have, wasn't it, really? He wants them to suffer. Um, as uh, as I think they probably were suffering. Um, uh, he had Liverpool's experience helped uh, so close to winning in 90, we lose energy. Gallagher and Chile tired, um, different to help. I don't know what that meant. Um, uh, and then he said, the team started to feel maybe penalties would be good for us. That was what he felt. That was what he said. This is where the misinterpretation came in. Um, uh, he then went, it was massive. Uh, and I, he he actually then, after he'd said it, I wondered whether he realized what he'd said uh, and it might be misinterpreted because he sort of stumbled a lot in his, in his speaking and went, oh, uh, yes. And he went, it was massive. Uh, it's about... Oh, it's only it's about to believe in that and we now keep moving. And this is occasionally I feel with him, uh, he, he can he, he can obscure stuff by getting it wrong, by speaking dreadfully incomprehensible English. And it, it's it's 
whereas Potter just spoke complete and utter fucking rubbish all the time, cliche after cliche, because he doesn't quite get the language right. I feel there's something, I think Conte had the same thing, which was he was always searching for his words. So you kind of think they're slightly more intelligent than they really are. Um, uh, because he, he, I, or, or to be, or he doesn't actually, I feel he's getting away with it. He doesn't actually speak English as well as he ought to. And I would like, as with the team, I would like to see him improve his English as the season goes on. But Will he have time? And uh, unless he gets, yes, sacked pretty soon, he won't. But you'd have thought, having been uh, spent, I mean, how many years? 11, how many years was it with, with Tottenham? And how many years was it with... Um, with the saints you would have thought actually that he would speak better english no not everybody's <laughs> linguistically talented like you are oh my dear chap how sweet of you yes um yeah um uh, so yes uh j'ai uh, uh, an ego enorme as you know we um, we 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 bien sûr we we, we, we uh pass me with we we for a load of we we um but it's um it he just said it was massive it's only it's about to believe in that uh and i perhaps he thought i'd in a completely ridiculous sentence and we now keep moving he said okay um uh phil short so the players were um in football um i've written down here waffle absolute waffle when you don't get what you want eight months with the peer ciao so quick if we um if we want to win we need to move on he's trying to say it's got nothing to do with it it's all over now when, and he said, "All I'm thinking about is." Or, in, in fact, actually, J.K., it's all over now, baby blue. Hey, hey, very good indeed. Yeah, I'm trying to. Think or, what... In fact, it's all over now, baby blue. Billion but, bottle jobs. Yeah, baby. I'm trying to think of another Bob Dylan song I could immediately come back with. Um, I don't uh, want to um, work on Bowley's but, Farm, Norman. Because anymore. indeed, the times they are a changing. We could oh, have that. Me. Yeah. yeah. Well, we could have. Um, uh, um, oh dear. Uh, no, I'll, I'll think of one in a minute. Anyway, um, um, uh, he actually answered. He was asked whether it was a bottle job. And he said, I like Gary Neville very much. And um, as usual, Chidge, as you said, always tactful, always pleasant about everybody, um, Poch. Like him very much. Um, uh, and yes, we uh, we didn't keep the energy going. But for sure, I feel proud he ended this with. We are a young team, can't compare to Liverpool, not fair to talk in this way. We have faith in this project, he said, and it hmm. ended. And well, I thought, if I was well, Pochettino, I would have said, I like football pundits, but not Gary Neville. He can <laughs> fuck off. Funny enough, he didn't know. He said, oh, I didn't hear what he said particularly. And if he said that, well, he's entitled to his opinion. And which is fair enough, and I like him very much. And uh, he's um, a very he, nice he, man. He, he won't be drawn on it, but I like he's that saying. Nice at the end, we have we have faith in this project. Well, uh, at the moment, you appear to be one of the few people who does botch, botch me, old son. This is the trouble. So, but as I say, the, the whole he, whole season, if we beat Leeds on Wednesday, the whole season will be, you know, well, slightly <clears throat> slightly back to normal, won't it? And you who and who season. who do you think who do you think I will select? For, for Wednesday night, when we do in fact beat Dirty Leeds, Dirty Bastards. That's that's there. Oh, it's it's there. There. Hey. Dino's not seen this before. He's so excited. I can tell oh, Dino's oh, face oh, is, look. is just look everybody, face. everybody in the everybody of the comments room. Look, look at what Chidge does. It's, it's beautiful, you man. See, you can it's see beautiful. the joy that I have every week, and you wouldn't have seen it before. The joy <laughs> that this gives me every week to see Chidge's lineup. Look at that. You know, I know, look look beautiful, at the lovely colours. Look at all of that. Isn't that love? Oh, wow. And do you beautiful. know what? Do you know what? 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 I didn't have to do anything other than change the title today because yeah. I have gone with exactly the same team that he should. Well, he, he did actually. I, we didn't talk about this, but he did start the team that I suggested. What he didn't yes. do, though, was have Jackson on the left and either Palmer or Sterling in the middle. He started with Sterling on the, on the left. left, Jackson on the right. Why? No, Indeed. sorry, Jack's in the middle, sorry, and Palmer yeah, on the really, right. Yeah, yeah. So I, I yeah. just sometimes wonder whether that horrible little prick, which he's not, you see, this is the thing about, this is the annoying thing about Ryan Sterling. I, I, as a human being, I absolutely love him. I think he's a fantastic human being. You think of all the things he does behind the scenes and all of that. He's, he's quite a special bloke. I just can't stand him playing for Chelsea. 
that's the annoying thing. But uh, I just wonder if, if if there's kind of some seniority thing going on here, and that because he's our highest paid player, he's supposed to be our superstar. He moans a bit and says, "No, I like playing on the left." So he has to go out there because Jackson is really good there. Sterling can play on the right; he's good enough there. Put Palmer in the middle because Palmer can float around. He can do it. I know he did it awfully against Wolves, didn't he? I think it was Wolves. But you know, who else? I mean, I don't. I just don't think Nkunku's up to it at all. You know, Nkunku will get bullied. You know, pointless playing him. So I would stick with that. But I would have Palmer in the middle. Really, I know it's a bit of a waste of his talents, but. He's got to be better than Jackson or Sterling up in the middle because neither of them can do it. So that's what I think. Oh, by the way, for those of you watching in black and white, uh, Petrovic, Chilwell, Colwell, Dizazi, Gusto uh, in the defence, uh, Enzo and Moises uh, as the two My in the dad, middle. Moises, hey, there he is. Yeah, we can't we can't get rid of can't get rid of Moises because we like saying his name, so he gets to My stay. Dad. My he gets dad. To stay. Anyway, Jackson, Gallagher, Sterling uh, with, as I said, I think Palmer probably would be my best bet for, for as a fake number nine, much as I hate it. Uh, so there you go, JK. What say you? Well, in the chat here, Craig Jenkins has said, I don't think Chiwell and Gusto will both start. And I think he's right. Well, I didn't I say think... this is what I didn't say this is what Botch will pick. This is what I would pick. No, indeed, 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 indeed. This is what I would love to pick too. But I think after the, uh, after the, uh, the disaster of yesterday, we will move on from um uh i think he might give cassidy a go i think he might uh, let one of those slip so you think um, he's going to play a week and our best team make i mean i, I know hey, we lost the moment this is, this is yes, our best team. yes yes he should play this but i think he might think in terms of you know they gave their all and they some of them you know won't be back to their best so he, he realizes a, does he realize does he realize if he loses on wednesday night it, it's over for him It'll be on your fucking bike, son, because the, the support will do their shit if we lose to Leeds. Yeah. I right? wonder if he realise how, how realises how important the game is. Yeah. Yeah. This is a must-win match, mate. It is completely must-win. I'm trying to think who would come in if that was the case. Perhaps Gil, Gilchrist gets a go instead of Gusto. Perhaps, Cassidy's uh, cup-tied. Of course he is. Of course he is. Well, well said. Done. Well done, Jack B. Thank you. Yes, well done, Jack B. Of course he is uh, from Leicester. Um, who would it be then? Who's who's not in? Who's well, who, not who in, could who could Chuk, come Chuk, in? Chuk is it Chukwemeka? Is Chukwemeka well, fit? I think he is. Uh, I think Chuck might be. I don't know. No, Chuck Chukwemeka is injured. Uh, Chaloba. Uh, hang on, I should be able to tell you because I know I know who who was out from the from the other match. Give me give me one second, and I will tell you all. Who is available? Oh, I, don't, I can't tell you all of them. But I, I, Badi Ashil is still out. Uh, Chuck Wameka is still out. Cucurella is still out. Fafana is still out. Just from the ones that I could find immediately. And I'll have to go back to uh, to the uh, to the old flash score to tell you who else. They probably already know this. They don't need me to tell them. Quite right, too. They're more knowledgeable than us. Okay, the, the missing, the casualty list at the moment is Badi Ashil, Chukwameka, Kukurela, Fafana, James, Lavia, Silva, Uguchukwu. So who is available, therefore, that we could play? Well, we go to the subs bench, don't we? Chaloba. This is the subs bench yesterday, by the way. Unbelievable. Betanelli, Chaloba, G, Gilchrist, Madueki, Mudrik, and Kunku Sanchez. Oh, he's back. Taranen. Taurianen, something like that. I mean, I haven't really heard of two of those. It's quite frightening. And we've been saying that, I've been saying this all season. Look at our bench and look how weak it is. I mean, okay, a lot of that's down to the injuries, I admit, but it is quite frightening. So, so you're going to start Madawaki? You're going to start Mudrik? You're going to start Nkunku? You're going to well, start he may Chaba? do. You're he may start do. He may start Madweke. He might he might push Sterling down because Sterling wasn't very good and he took him off after sixty eight for a reason because he wasn't very good. Um, I, I all I can say is I I this is the team I would play along with you, but we don't know what's happened in training. We don't know how tired they are. We don't know how injured they are. So I would expect anybody <laughs> him to make him to make some changes and have some of the other the the, the first teamers still on the on the uh, on the bench. Um, to come on later. Uh, not that he's taking it easy against Leeds. I just think that that's what he'll he'll think in terms of the fitness of the players. You know, I think Chile might not get another run out. 
just because he played 90 minutes and was injured. And I think Gallagher then might be a doubt similarly. But let's see. Let's see. I, 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 this obviously is the side to play, Chidge, because it's the it's the best most team. best performing side that we've got. Yeah. Yeah. But it, I, I have a horrible suspicion you're right and he won't. What do you reckon, Dino? Is he going to play my team or is he going to shove a load of people that, you know, I've never heard of in the... Yeah, I think it's just going to be fitness. Um, Gusko could go left back and then Chalaba right back. Uh, Palmer could play where Gallagher is and put and Kunko up front. Have Jackson and Sterling off him. Just that is obviously, as you said, our strongest eleven right now. Just how how fit they are from extra time and I mean Gallagher looked quite bad, but then he is naturally quite fit. So can he recover quickly and get back in the team? I mean, hopefully someone asks him, does he know how important this rivalry is? Um, obviously he knew the Chelsea Tottenham rivalry from being the Tottenham manager. Uh, but this is up there as well for, for Chelsea and the club want to know about the history and the culture. This is it. This is the one of them fixtures. Um, so, uh, and Leeds are a pretty good form as well, I think. So, I think we need to take them seriously. And as I said, just the fitness, if they're not ready to play 90 minutes, then there's not a great deal of players that can come in. But I think Chalabur and uh, Nkunku are probably two of those that will. Mm. It is it it is a bit worrying, you know. As I said, because it's so obvious that that's our our best team. Even when, I mean, as I said, let's not. We should be honest about it. They weren't they weren't uh, utterly appalling against Liverpool. Um, they just didn't get the result uh, home, which is kind of what it's all about. But you know that that team should be good enough if they don't cock around, if they don't give the ball away, if they've got the right attitude, if they can actually finish, is good enough to beat Leeds. Um, and you're right about the history, Dino. I mean, this is dirty leads, bastards. Dirty leads, bastards. bastards. Full of history. Here we go, JK. You will know this because you were there. The last time we uh, uh, played Leeds United in the Football no, Association Leeds Cup. United. Not Leeds United. Leeds, Leeds United. United. Leeds United right. was in 1970 at Old right. Trafford. Right. I can't believe... I. Can I believe that we haven't played Leeds United in the FA Cup since then? Isn't that remarkable? That is bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, but you know what? We've played them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight times in total in the FA Cup. We first played them in 1937 uh, when we won 4 yeah, yeah, I was there. I remember that. 37, 52. Uh, we played them three times. We drew uh, one one up there, one one back at the bridge, and then we beat them five one uh, back at the bridge. Uh, then in sixty six, we played. We these are quite famous matches. J.K. should tell us about these in a minute. But we beat them one nil in both sixty six and sixty seven. On I think it was the semi final in sixty seven. Is isn't that the famous one where they had a, a free kick disallowed in the last minute and there was Peter almost Lorimer. a riot. Yeah. Peter Lorimer and the referee hadn't uh, given the whistle. Yeah. Uh, to take it, and he'd taken it and blasted it in, and then uh, uh, overruled it because he hadn't. He said, and he pointed to the whistle and said, "I hadn't given the. I yeah. was there for that, Jidge. I was there. Yeah. Well, uh, was Tony, it the semi final? It was Tony Hately scored the winner. Where did they play it? Uh, I think it was Villa Park. Yeah, would have made sense. I think so. Yeah. But I was at Villa Park for the Sheffield Wednesday game, which we lost two nil. That was there as well, if I remember rightly. It was Villa Park? Yeah. They seem oh, to be Villa. Villa was always the the go to uh, ground if if anybody was. Um, it was London against the north of England because it was in the Midlands. It was obviously a huge a huge ground to have it at. You know. So now I don't know whether I should tell you this, both of you, right? But we're not never wearing any. Lost... You're not wearing any trousers. I'm not no. wearing any underpants. No, okay. uh, we've never lost to Leeds United in a cup match ever. We've played 12. This is both League Cup and FA Cup. Mm. We've played 12, won eight, drawn four. We've never lost. Let me repeat that. We have never lost to Leeds United, dirty Leeds <coughs> bastards in a cup match. You know what you know what happens next. We and lose. Actually, in total, throughout our entire history, we've won 38 times against Leeds, drawn 30 times, and lost 40. They're one of the only teams that I've seen, because when we do this little stat, you know, uh, normally we've won more than we've lost, but we've lost more than we've won against Leeds United. 
Dirty um, bastard. Dirty bastard. 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 So, yeah, you know, it's 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 a big, big, big old match. I mean, here's the other thing, Dino. Uh, the atmosphere will be febrile. There'll be, what, five, 6,000 of them that will be taken up the shed end? They'll probably get the entire allocation, won't they? So it'll be – and they hate us. So that'll be massive. Uh, we've got massive, the band- were you going back to your roots there? Massive. 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 Yeah. massive. Yeah, we've got the Bamford factor, so I'm worried about that. Uh, yeah, and actually, Tax, I want a great name. Tox as he says, don't keep saying it, Chidge, you'll jinx us. I know, Tox, I, I, I will not say it again, I promise, all right? So <laughs> we've never <laughs> lost against Leeds in a... In a, in a no, no. Uh, anyway, but the Bamford factor, um, Ethan Ampadu, I think? No, no, he's not playing for Leeds, is he? Who's he playing yes, for he is. now? He is. Is, he? is he? Is he really? Is he, uh, he went there, didn't he? I think he did. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. He's there, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. So we've got Ampadu, who'll be out to prove what a bunch of idiots we were for, for letting him go. They've also got in uh, Jorginho and Piro a couple of decent uh, forward players. Uh, one of whom scored about 11 goals. They're on a, a really good run of form. Um, I mean, they haven't lost, I don't think, in their last five. I'm not sure how, how, how much it goes before that because I didn't bother looking, to be honest with you. But they, they've won their last five. Uh, four of them who, which were in the championship. I, I saw the match they played. I think they had to have a replay against Plymouth, didn't they, in the previous round? Uh, and it went to extra time, but they demolished Plymouth in the in the in extra time, and they looked a good side. They play football, um, and they managed by a right old Farker. Oh, sorry, Daniel, Daniel Farker. So the old fuckers back. So uh, there's there's. I'm worried, guys. That's all I'm going to say, Dino. I'm worried, mate. There's a lot here that I'm worried about. I think because it's at Stamford Bridge, um, we'll be fine. And we've shown that. Um, just look at the Middlesbrough semi-final. We struggled away. Uh, got back to Stamford Bridge and absolutely demolished them. Uh, we were comfortable. Uh, as you said, never lost to them in the Cup, so that will continue, obviously. Um, make it a uh, lucky 13, as they say. Um, but yeah, I think there'll just be a reaction. I think if this is a a process and a project maybe winning the Caribou Cup was just go too soon for that project in the line and they don't want to feel that pain again they want to keep going and keep building and how they do that is by recovering uh, with this fixture and they, they bounce back after the Wolves defeat pretty well we are playing good football at the moment beat Aston Villa drew with Man City and then obviously the Cup was a, a decent performance on most of it um, I think there'll just be too much class between the two of them and uh, Farker likes these teams to play you know, on the front foot and I think that'll help us there'll be a bit of space for us to play into they won't sit back I mean, uh, yeah. that, that having been said that it might actually not be a bad move to play uh, Madueke or, or uh, Mudrich or both in fact because they will they will have a go which will leave gaps for us to exploit yeah but then they're brain dead so yeah but no be a good chance <laughs> There's going to be space. Me and you could probably get out there and get a few touches. Yeah, uh, why, might not, be why not? Than, Speaking uh, of Cox, as we were earlier, I'd rather lock Mick Cock off than play either of them. <laughs> yep. Okay. Duly noted, JK. If you start, yeah. if you're walking funny after Wednesday, we'll know why. We'll know what um, I mean, Dino's right. I mean, this really is a question of of reaction, isn't it? You know, if 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 they react positively to losing the Caribou Cup final because they're, you know, they're, they're hurting and they want to put it right, they will turn up. If, however, they are sulking because they lost in the Caribou Cup final on Sunday and they're licking their wounds, it could go horribly wrong. That's what worries me because we're not, I don't, I'm not sure, JK, which will turn up. And the, the other thing is, of course, th- this is obvious to say, isn't it? But if we lose this match, not only will it be horrific because it'll be the first time we've lost to Leeds in, in a cup match, it's Leeds United, dirty bastards. We dirty can't bastards. lose. To, I know bastards. we can't lose to this lot. We hate them. They hate us. We cannot lose to this lot. And we all be. hate Leeds and Leeds and we all exactly. hate Leeds and Leeds. Leeds and Leeds and Leeds and Leeds. We all fucking hate Leeds and Leeds. Exactly. So we can't lose against Leeds. And uh, if we do, our season is over, JK. Period. It's yes. over. Yes. Yes, and in fact, true. actually, it'll be over in February. Not March, not April, not May, February. Because it'll so still even be earlier, February. even yeah. earlier than it was over last season. Last season, yeah. Think about those yeah. apples. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's a lot on this game. Well, I, I don't think Fernandez has it in him to give up, actually. One of the things about Fernandez is he gets very worked up about everything. So I think he'll be there to prove a point. Unless, of course, he's not playing because he's been dropped. Um, but uh, I don't think there's anybody else to come in instead of him. So, uh, uh, no, I, 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 I think they'll turn up. I can't see them not turning up. I think that's one thing they'll... They'll definitely have a go. It's a question of whether... Um, uh, uh, no, I think they'll just have a go. I don't think it's a question of anything. I think I, I think they'll that they'll have been hurt and smarting and they'll come back from it because um, I, I think that's there is a, a unity amongst them. We've seen that before. We've seen there is a, a spirit. It's just that it needs to be um, channeled properly. So uh, I've got um, I've got a good feeling about Wednesday, actually. I think we'll do all okay. right. I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, okay, and also, also, Chich, I can legitimately stand up in Aussies and say, "You dirty farker, can't I?" You can. I won't be thrown out, which I would be if I was any using any other word. What about if you say, "You dirty bastard, Fort Farker"? You know that I, that would be they'd see my true colours. Okay, all right. I'd be ejected. You can't say that. Who, who, who have you got joining you on uh, Wednesday? Uh, Tim Rolls. Uh, no way. Yeah. Tim Rolls. What's he done to deserve your uh, magnificence? I've written a book about being a voiceover actor and um, and he read it for me. He, he, he not proofread it. He just read it. I said, I want a view. Okay. And uh, and I gave him some money and he said, I'll put this into the um, uh, the homeless at the bridge. I'll give it the homeless. I said, good deal. I like that. So I said, as a reward, you can, uh, I've got a spare for the Wednesday. Would you like to be my guest? And he said, I'd love to. So I'm How uh, lovely. I'm taking Tim. Yep. Yeah. I'm 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 seeing Tim tomorrow in a meeting. I can't tell you about the meeting. It's hush hush. No well, good stuff. Well, he'll he'll know all about it. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's uh, luckily he was very complimentary about my book, so I was very pleased. Oh, well, that kind of helps, doesn't it? It kind of helps. Yes, it does. How delightful. Um, I'm uh, yeah. in my usual seat uh, up in Gate 17, so I'll see John John Gordon and uh, the usual suspects up there. Can't wait. Uh, anyway, Dino, how how do you see this one going? And and stick a number on it for us at the end of it. Uh. Yeah, I think they're going to react like JK said. Um, I think there there is a unity. They're not against the manager. I think they're with him. Um, they'll be hurting, but they want to put it right. And hopefully they will be told about this rivalry, um, or Potch at least. Um, but I think we will we'll batter them 4-0. 4-0? Mm. Yeah. God, I hope so. Don't see it myself, but I hope so. JK, how do you think it's going to go? What's the number going to be? I'm just uh, Elliot Sherman has said JK has a good feeling. Yes, Elliot, I have good feelings occasionally. Very rare, I must admit. But I've does got Elliot, a very good does feeling. Elliot know where JK is in the uh, Premier Predictions League? By the way, <laughs> maybe he knows something that we all know. Yes, I, I don't have a good feeling about that. Um, uh, yes, um, what I think. Um, uh, I think we'll win 2 0. <laughs> Elliot does not have a good feeling by the looks of it. You think we'll win 2 0? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a Scooby. Um, I don't know. I've just I've got a weird feeling that there'll be some goals in this. And, and you know, a few a few uh, seasons back, in fact, actually, I'll tell you the uh, the last few matches we've had against Dirty Leeds. Dirty Bastards. 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 Okay. We're not to be putting on northern accents, should we? We should just be calling. We should be going. Bastards. Dirty bastards. Dirty no, bastards. No. Bastards. No, I like. I like. I like saying bastards. Yeah, me too. Anyway, bastards. 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 It's yeah, what, anyway, it's what, um, Fishface was saying in Sharp, wasn't it? Old um, uh, Fishface. Uh, Sean what? Bean. Seen Bean. Sean Bean. Yeah, yeah. Sean Seen Bean. Yeah. Seen bastards. Bean. Bastards. Seen Bean. Yeah, Seen Bean. Yeah, Seen, Seen Bean. Seen Bean. Seen yeah. Bean. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, there's a wonderful. I mean, I love Sharp. And uh, I love the books as well as the, the the TV series. But somebody, some wag, did a, a brilliant uh, YouTube compilation of Sean Bean saying "bastard" in short. So you just basically get about five minutes of "bastard, bastard, bastard." It's it's just brilliant. Anyway, he's a Sheffield United fan, isn't he? He's a blade. Yeah, seen yeah. Bean. We'll get him on for opposition view. Actually, we won't because we like Ben much more, don't we? We do, we do. And we I do. think we love I think he, he might refuse. I'm afraid. Well, he did go on Alex's podcast. Yeah, but that was because it was about the sharp. It setup. was, and and uh, she had all the other actors on, and they persuaded yeah. him. I, I yeah. think if Alex had asked him, sorry, Alex, I don't mean to besmirch your besmirch your abilities to get guests on, but I think he would have said bastard and wouldn't have come on. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, because Harris got him on whatever it is because he's a Chelsea fan, isn't he? The guy who played Harris. 
I yes. can't remember his name now. Jason. Jason Thing. Yes. He Jason used to, Thing. He used to sit uh, opposite in front of me. Yeah. Did he really? Um, God, you love yeah. he's all sit together, don't you? I know Bloody we do. Lovely yeah, corner. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. He, when he was in Sharp Sharp's rifles, he got a bit a bit you know precious. And yeah. Some of them do. It, it, you want to say to them, mate. You know, let's see where you are in a few years. Don't yeah. don't get precious. Yeah. Don't get you know. And so I can't be here next week. I'm away filming. Oh, okay, good. It's good to know. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. you're just jealous, mate. Oh fuck! I fuck. It was not <laughs> your, your face. <laughs> oh, quality, right? I was not jealous. I no, promise. Not I was jealous. I was not. I'm not honest, man. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> so you, you, listen. You're going. You're going two nil. You're going two nil. Dino's no, three going. nil, three nil, three, three nil, three nil for you. Yeah, uh, as we've established on my pen predictions, I'm complete crap. So who knows? you are yeah. three nil for you, four nil for Dino. I reckon there'll be goals, but I think it'll be a uh, squeaky bum for us. I think it'll be three two, a bit like it was a few years back. As I said, I mean we uh, we beat them one nil the last time we played them. We had that horrible three nil, didn't we, under Tuchel when we went up there and got hammered? I was, was there. Like, it, was, yeah, it was like the end of Tuchel, wasn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we beat them 3-0 up there the previous season, and uh, we had that very arse bum uh, squeaky time when we beat them 3-2, if you remember, yeah. at the bridge. Uh, and then there was a, a boring 0-0 draw the year before that. Um, but I think 3-2. I don't know why I think that, but I think 3-2. But I bloody hope we win, because it'll be an absolute... Oh, Our season will be over, and I don't think I can quite bear that in February. I really can't. Anyway, uh, good luck. Let's hope they do. I can't wait to be there, as ever, uh, which is it's kind of, you know, when I was kind of saying, where do we go from here? Or I didn't actually say that, but I was kind of intimating that earlier. Where do um, we go from here? This is what we do, isn't it? We can be as miserable as sin after losing a Caribou Cup final against the bloody Scousers. By Wednesday, I've forgotten all about it. I'll be in the cock having a pint, just really up for the game. And I mean, that's the beautiful thing about football, really, isn't it? Anyway. But the scar it's left, Jinch, the scar on your soul. On no, your soul, Jake. No, no, I heal quick, mate. I heal On your quick. soul, Dino. Dino, your soul. Now, um, here we go. You guess what we've got now, JK? Very quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Um, uh, they played for both. We have indeed. We have got an episode <laughs> of they played for both. Wow. Well, well, uh, well. Right. Ready for this? Dino's been. Uh, he's been doing his limbering up exercises for this. He's he's known for weeks that this will be coming up. So he's done his research exactly done his exercises uh and there yeah. are there are or there have been 24 players that have represented both chelsea and leeds united bastards uh during their careers and they are boys start rowcastle rocky rowcastle shout jk bamford. uh hasselbank yes bamford yes michael jubry Michael Jubry, JK's done some homework. Well done. No, 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 I'm done the homework. We do. We've had them on before, Chidge. Do you remember? We haven't played Leeds, have we? Since we've been doing this, no, this is the first time we've done this. Trust me. Oh, they came to me very easily. I remember thinking he played and he played and he played. Yeah. No, okay. we haven't done them yet. No, no, because because oh, okay. uh, Nathan would have said to me, Chidge, shut up. We've already done this before. This one, but he, he would have moaned. That? He hasn't. He'd have moaned, would he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay. He hasn't moaned. He said, no, no, this okay. is cool. Okay. Well, mind you, but lots of them have been down, put down on here already, haven't we? We've got Amp uh, Ampadu. Ampadu, we said him. Ampadu, yes. Ampadu, hey. Ampadu, um, remember Sullivan? Yes. Well done. God, you're on fire tonight, JK. I, know, but I don't know why I know, I don't know why I know this, but I know Leeds players better than Chelsea going to Leeds. I think it's because I hate Leeds so much that when they went there, I remember thinking, ah, oh, fuck, they've gone to Leeds. So it stayed um, in my David mind. Flotzer has accused you of looking down. He thinks you're cheating. No, I've written the fuckers down. I've just prepared for it. I've written them down earlier. I didn't look up on anything. I just thought, I know them. I'll have them ready. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. <laughs> I looked, I've written them post-it note. I've written them down. I've remembered them. When he said we're doing leads, I thought, I'll try to remember them here. I'm, I try to be as absolutely, I'm normally completely shit. The very fact I'm suddenly not shit. Do me a favor here. Help me out here. Come on. Yeah, yeah. He's, right. David, right. David, David's getting some kickback. David's getting some kickback. Right, come on then. Next, come on. We've had so far. No, Doobs. Not ha 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 fish. Doobs. David. Doobs. No. Doobs. Look. Shush. Shut up. Doobs, Hasselbank, Rowcastle, Sullivan, Bamford, Ampadu so far. Next. Lewis Bate. 
Lewis Bates. Good shout. No, it's because it was mentioned down the side although, here as well. Although, Lewis actually, Bates. actually, uh, actually, schoolboy error. He's not on the list, but I think he should be. Shouldn't he? I know he left Nathan, the list. Nathan, you're in, you, sh- Nathan, you're in. Nathan, yeah. you're in. You're in the chat room. Why isn't Lewis Bate on this list? Let's Lewis Baker is. If that, list. if you, in the, if you, I mean, I think Lewis Bate should be, but Lewis Baker is perhaps who you meant, Dino. Yes. No, because I remember Lewis Bate leaving for them. Uh, there's a bit of a kick off about it. Well, maybe then. Maybe Nathan will tell us in the in the chat room because he knows everything. Uh, I've kind of given you Lewis Baker, so I'll stick with that. Right next, come on. Elliot's now my pal. Elliot says JK is the best. Thank you. Oh, thank you. He never thank played you. for the first team, according to Jack. And Jack knows his onions, so yeah, yeah. No, no bait. Yeah, yeah. No master bait. Um, uh, um, uh, Tony Dorigo. Tony Dorigo. Uh, Tony Dorigo. Torre Andre Flo. Well done, Dino. Actually, because I thought that was going to be one that would get you. Yeah, I didn't have that one. But what, what, um, the thing with thing with some of these these players as well as we've discussed because they've been on other things, they've played for other teams. We've then talked about where they've gone afterwards. So this is why some of these players are now like Sullivan, for example. We've analysed where he went because he played for practically everybody, everybody in the past. It's a bit like Dave Besant. So Sullivan played for Leeds, didn't he as well? So obviously, along with along with Hopkin, Hopkin is on the list. What's his first name? David. Very good. Okay. Thank you. There's one. And he played for Palace as well. Yeah. One, two. Didn't look that up. I haven't looked that up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Oh, you, you should absolutely get. Excuse me. Vinnie Jones. Vinnie Jones. Jones. He would be one of them. One on here. I'll be amazed if you get because I couldn't remember him playing for them at all. Danny Granville. No, Danny, I knew. Yeah. I liked him a lot, actually, when he played for us. I was very upset when he went there. Played in the European Cup Winners' Cup final, didn't he? He did, he did, he did, he did. Because Lasso was injured. That's right. Uh, one of my favourite players of all time played for Leeds before he came to us, and uh, he was very good with golf balls. Duncan McKenzie. He was. I wasn't going to say jumping over minis, because that would have been too obvious. Yes, but he used to be able to throw a golf ball from one end of the pitch to the other, didn't he? Yes, he did. And then was a run round, player. run round and head it and it landed. He was a brilliant player. I loved him. Cheeky yeah. chappy. He so, was. yeah, Duncan McKenzie. Uh, okay. There was, a, there was a player who had a very good finish. Very good shine to himself. A very good finish. Very good For finish. Sale. For sale. Well done, Dino! <laughs> Mikel Forsell, who of course was Finnish. Well? Blimey, very yeah. clever. Did, um, he's Jody not Morris. Scottish. He's Finnish. He's Have, you ever Finnish. Heard that? <laughs> Have you ever heard that? On on uh, it's on clips of the week on uh, Hawksby and Jacobs occasionally. But this uh, uh, Celtic fan, I presume, phoned up Scottish fan anyway, talking about Antiniemi and uh, and. Uh, He's going, oh, no, you know, why, why aren't they picking Anthony Yemi for the Scottish goalkeeper? And the bloke's saying, he's Finnish. He said, no, no, he's not Finnish. He's really good. He's really good. No, no, he's Finnish, mate. It's, it's one of the funny. It's up there with that new, that Geordie fan going, you know, uh, when uh, Mickey, uh, fat bloke, horrible bloke, don't like him. Quinn. You know, the one, yeah, Mickey Quinn left. So many goals. You know, he's in tears breaking down. It's up there with that. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, Mikel Forsell. So, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more that you should get. Jody Morris. Jody Morris. Oh, well done, JK. You're going to get them all tonight, apart from the ones you can't get. No, I Izzy didn't Brown. know. Um, uh, yeah, that was the one. Brown. Absolutely right. Izzy Brown. Izzy Brown. Well done. One of your Do favorite. Have- one of your favorite players of all time. Played there. Everybody, everybody thought he was going to be, uh, he was going to make it, didn't they? Yeah. One of your favourite um, players of all time played. Derek Kevin. No. Oh. I mean, literally one of your favourite players of all time. George Graham. No, you've met him recently. Bobby Tambling. No. Kenny Swain. No. Jock Finiston. No. John Boyle. No. 
I met him recently. Yes, you fucking idiot. We did a troubadour gig with him. It's almost Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Thomas. Yeah, well done, well done. <laughs> oh, him, he was one of my favourite players of all time. Yeah, sorry. You, you yeah. know what, Dino? He was saying before the trip, Oh, God, Mickey Thomas. Oh, yeah, he's almost in tears. He was my favourite players of all time. I love Mickey Thomas. <laughs> when it push comes to shove, you can't even remember him, mate. It's disgraceful. No, that's not true. I'm disgraceful. At all. I didn't no, think he ever played so Leeds. He he's even talked so long, about mate, players. Like, really great players. Yeah. Mate, did, he even he talked talk about, about, playing about playing for Dirty oh, League. I couldn't remember that. I remember yeah. him playing for West Brom. Anyway, Mickey Thomas, yes. Okay, and so we got, we've got uh, definitely one one of JK's kind of uh, vintage. Uh, uh, one in the 80s. Uh, one who's two have won a European Cup. And one who's a bit weird. And then two that you won't have a clue with. So let's bit, start with the weird. Can we start with the weird one? Uh, well, probably. Okay, the weird one. Yeah, the weird one is playing rather well, rather well at the moment, and is people are calling him for, uh, you know, saying he should get an England call up. Solanke. No. Ross Barkley. Yes, Dino. Ha! See, I don't remember Ross Barkley playing for Leeds. When did that happen? Mad, isn't it? No, what was it Everton? Right, should we should we go for the two easy ones that uh, both of whom have won the European Cup at Chelsea? Uh, I sang this to one of them when we uh, drew against Brentford in the FA Cup under Rafa. It was like uh, 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 won the European Cup, European Cup, European Cup. Uh, uh, Ross uh, won the Euro- Very good, Dino. There we go. Who was that? Ross, Ross Turnbull. Turnbull. Oh, of course. But there's another one who played for everybody. We're being silly, aren't we? We should just, just shout out Ross Turnbull. Now, Ross this... Turnbull, um, um, Sullivan and um, Neil Sullivan and um, Dave Besson played for I everybody. do believe that the next one shares a birthday with me, and he's also a European Cup winner, and he made the starting 11 for Chelsea. And it's not Solomon Kalou, who also shares a birthday with me. Uh, he made his debut... It? Is this the 2012 victory? He ma- yeah, Burton. he made his... De- huh? Ryan what, Burton. Dino? It is. Ryan like a lion against Bayern. Isn't it Rion Bertrand? Rion Bertrand, the famous yeah. Frenchman. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got one, two, three, four left. Okay. Two of which you might get. One of which, yeah, two of which you should get. One played for us in the 60s. One played for us in the 80s. One of them also won the FA Cup for Southampton in 1976. Played for a lot of clubs. More clubs than Tiger Woods. Scottish name. Scottish. Yes. Scottish name. Scottish, Scottish. name. Scott Rodriguez. He's oh, no. not Scottish. He's Finnish, mate. <laughs> it's not Rodriguez. <laughs> it's not Peter Osgood either. Uh, Bobby Stokes. No, not Bobby Stokes. You never played for us, Bobby Stokes. Um, no. Uh, he played for Sheffield Wednesday, I think, as well. And quite possibly Everton. Ye gods. And his first name was Jim. McCallyog. Very good, JK. Okay, and the other one. Yes, of course uh, he played. He mentioned it, didn't he, McCallion? Um, who was it mentioned him? Jock Finiston mentioned him. Was yeah, it? he did. Uh, now, the yeah. other one played on the wing. And I, I think we might have tried to get a Keithy Weller on the wing song going from as I recall. But not quite the same. I think he was 80s. He might have been 90s, actually. He was quite small. And his first name was Terry. <laughs> Feeling. That's very good, JK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Why do I put myself through this every week? I must be mental. Um, all right. There are two you won't get. I'm absolutely sure of that. Uh, one one has quite possibly Jack, got the most. Jack Cork. Jack not, Cork. Not Jack Cock or Jack Cork. No. Uh, 
This one's one of them's got the most Welsh name I've ever heard. Die James. Okay. Die James okay. played for us in 1939. Three appearances, one goal. Now, unfortunately, Die is one of two forgotten footballers from the abandoned 1939-40 football season. His three appearances and one goal were expunged from all records, and he unfortunately never played for the first team again. That's quite sad, isn't it? Was it uh, expunged because they didn't finish the season? And then yeah, presumably. The season because of the war, yeah. Presumably, yeah. Uh, and uh, the last one, last but by no means least, is William Jackson, who is uh, the Nico Jackson's great-grandfather, who uh, played for Chelsea in 1928 to 1931, 26 appearances and six goals. They called him Ua Bill. Did you know that? Ua Bill. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't know that. Is that is that true? Or is it no. you just making that up? Made it up. Yeah, I thought you had. Uh, so there we go. Well done. You all did very well. Now, uh, as always, massive thanks to the lovely Paul Carter and Nathan, of course, uh, for his website, which is stamford-bridge.com. And you can find Paul on Twitter at Stamford Bridge. And uh, check out the Chelsea Heritage Group, who are ChelseaHeritagePartnership.com. And uh, you can find them on Twitter or X, X if you prefer, at CFC underscore Heritage. And as I said, always big thanks to Nathan, who's always listens to us every show. And he is in Chelsea Graves Society. So there we go. Uh, now, we will be back. We will. We will be back. Uh, on the last the last show of the current schedule. So I need to sort my shit out and do another schedule, don't I? But anyway, uh, me, JK, Martin Wickham will be back uh, on Friday night, Friday night, to uh, look back at the uh, Chelsea versus Leeds Cup match and look ahead to Brentford. Well, can we get Grenville back on? Greville. Greville. Close, but no cigar. Yes, I'll ask him. That would be for... Um... Uh, yeah, the Brentford game away. Yeah, I'll definitely ask him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would he mind being on on video? He'll have to join us on Streamyard. Yeah, he'll happy to do that. Which means he'll have to have Chrome, won't he, Dean? Yeah, I'll ask him. he's been ill. Actually. He's been ill actually. Yes, he'll have to have Chrome. He, I think he's got all mod cons like that. But he's been ill. He's okay. Been Ill. So I'll, I'll ask him to if, find out. I'll otherwise, find I'll out. have to get. I'll have to get what's his name? Billy Billy Big Bollocks, whatever his name is from Billy the Bee. Yeah, Billy the Bee. Don't. But was that bloke who? Interviewed that girl while we were doing it. It was the that DJ. wasn't just that girl. It was Keris Matthews. Oh, it was I Keris Matthews. Oh, yeah. Keris Matthews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot it was that singer, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. mate. I, yeah, I, but we I, didn't, I, you didn't talk about the match much. We just talked about Keris mate, Matthews. I, we could talk about Keris Matthews for the ne next year, and I'd be happy. I think okay. she's gorgeous, I, mate. I got annoyed. I wondered whether she was going to tell us about the game Brentford as yeah. well, but she didn't know anything about it, did she? Yeah. So it's Billy the Bee or Grenville, Greville, Greville. Greville, Greville Waterman. I hope he's all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll find out if he is. Yeah. All right. Okay, well done. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be back on Friday, as I said. Uh, me, JK, Martin Wickham. Um, if you want your e – oh, well, you'll be amazed, JK, or well, you won't be amazed to hear that there are a plethora of emails that came whizzing through uh, yesterday evening. I can't think why so many emails came through, but they me? did. I can't think why either. What's the matter strange, with you guys? Strange, strange, strange. But anyway uh, – so when we get to the magic number, the magic number, I think, is 10. That's enough to do a show, or 12. That's enough to do a show. Uh, we've decided that having 20 or 24 is too long. And, you know, we, yeah. And also too much time tends to have passed. So Yeah, I think if we get 10 and we could do them in two weeks, then that's we do another 10 in the next two weeks. Yeah, to yeah. Do, to do 24 in, after a month is just... Not clever. It's, it's too past. It's too I know. Past. No, you're right. Good. Uh, JK and his role as executive producer made that yes, decision. Yes, so I he, thought he was, that was the thing to do if that was okay with you. Yes. No, it was dead right. You're dead right. Yes, Absolutely. Exactly. That's why. That's that's why you get paid the big bucks to be the executive producer. Yes. Uh, yes. So there received, we go. I haven't received a payment yet. By yeah, the way, but you're on, you're on you're on points, mate. Of course. Oh, am I? Oh, good. How many yeah. have I got at the moment? Do you know? Uh, less than Chelsea. <laughs> less than Sheffield United, actually, mate. <laughs> anyway, um. Yes, where were we? Yes, in off the post. If you want your email read out on the show, you need to let me have them as soon as you can. And the email address, of course, is chelseafancast at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow the show on all the social media at Chelsea Fancast, me at Stanford Chidge, Jonathan at Jonathan Kidd, and Dean at Dean Mears. So there you go. Dino, absolutely bloody marvellous to see you again, my friend. Hopefully I, I get to see you for a pint sometime soon. I don't feel I've seen you for ages. Yeah, I've not been to Stamford Bridge for a men's game for ages, so I'd have to um, fit one in uh, when JK's got a spare seat, maybe. 
Maybe, yeah, yes, maybe you can yeah. be my guest, Dino. You can be my guest, Dino. I know you 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 fished for it beautifully, but <laughs> I, I was going to offer you the opportunity. I kid you not. I really kid you not. I was going to say I've got because I've got about about um I, I bought the guys next to me see cheaply because he's he was in America, so that's I I have this spare. So uh, except occasionally he confuses the issue by saying I'm coming next week. I'm back in England. I go oh fuck God I've got a friend coming. Fuck I have to put them off. So um. Be prepared for that, but I'm happy. I would love you to be my guest in in a few weeks. I'll I'll, I'll drop you a note if that would be okay with you. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. And remember not to wear your colours. You're not to wear your colours. You're not to stand up and call anybody the a Gareth. And like, like I did. Like Kids did. <laughs> <laughs> Very famously. <laughs> Woke the and, classes uh, up though, didn't I? That's right. And you don't buy a program because you get a program there. And the grub is. You know, it's pretty it's good. All right, so, good, uh, good, yeah, yeah good grub. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so um, be prepared. I'll, 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 I'd love you to come. Thank you, love yeah, to be my guest. Marvelous yeah. stuff, Dino. Lovely to see you. Well done. Great, great work tonight, as always. The uh, the sense bit, the sense between the the uh, mad sandwich that is me and J.K. Uh, J.K. Lovely to see you, old Bean, as always. Thank you very much. Lovely to be on the show. Thank you. And. Uh, well, hopefully we'll pull out a bloody result on uh, Wednesday night. Otherwise, our season is over. Oh, by the way, um, you may or may not have seen, I'll put it up on uh, on, on uh, WhatsApp because I don't think Richard has. You know, Richard is uh, Richard, the lovely Richard Schaller who's designing our T-shirts. We've got a load of T-shirts coming out, people. Yeah, we've got T-shirts coming out, people. Get on it. Um, he's now a member of our WhatsApp group because he's now part of the Chelsea Fancast family officially. Uh, but I will post up his, uh, you know, we're going to do a, um, you know, that thing I did with uh, Chelsea Fancast X 11, Twitter 11, with all of our Twitter names. He's done caricatures of all of us. It, I've seen it. It's legendary. Is it, is it fantastic? Good. It's legendary. I'll put and it up in a, a minute. It's a, it's a t shirt, is it? It will be a t shirt. T shirt and mug. a mug. Uh, cuddly toy. Wow. Oh, wow, uh, wow, wow. Hot water bottle cover. Wow. Small, small gnome. I can put in the garden. Well, you could make maybe Richard can make a caricature oh, of you, one, a life size, a life size one, which you could have as a gnome. <laughs> I think it'll be a Jonathan Kid Turkey based stuff. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, with a yes, Chelsea with a, fan cast emblazoned turkey. Yeah, 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 on it. Yeah, yeah, with a little with a little gnome on it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Love perfect. It. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Well done, Thank JK. You. Lovely to see you, mate. You've, uh, I've seen now. I've completely forgotten we lost Liverpool yesterday because I've been laughing so much, which is exactly the point of this show. Yeah, so we're thank not miserable, you. though. The number of people no. who say, you know, we're so miserable. Yeah, we fucking lost. We're miserable. Sorry, but we're not, not anymore, really, though. We're, we're all cheering. Really now. miserable. We, well, of course we're we have. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. The of scars this show. are there, though. The scars it's are there. It's a journey. It's a cathartic journey a that journey. ends in happiness <laughs> and love and joy. <laughs> so there you go. Right, we better go. You lot out there, brilliant. Uh, thank you for listening. Or watching in fact see you uh, on friday until then keep it blue keep it carefree and of course as you all know up the chill no 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 ah! no no no, no. Oh, keep it chill keep it blue did you didn't that. say that you didn't say that no so, I, so you're gonna make me retake it i am actually yeah you, you have to you go are, aren't you? and i want everybody everybody in the uh everybody, in the chat everybody at home in. join in you have to join yeah? in it goes everybody keep it home, blue, join keep in. it carefree keep it chelsea up the chest yeah. you didn't oh, say. i thought you were doing it then yeah i was doing it no 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 you have to do it now and cuchage and cuchage uh until yeah. then keep it blue keep it carefree keep it chelsea <laughs> 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 <laughs>